Boke double fisted knockout looking for Waitman play on said the umpire stacks on the mill the ball came out to the new player in Elliott for Fitzroy who drives them forward looking for Ruse Ruse has given Lees the flick then turns around he lines it up but there could be a mark to Fitzroy in the goal square play on says the umpire I thought uh, Will Wielden had enough of that as Richmond bring it off the back and here's Elliott again getting his second position in as many moments he's told to play on Elliott's outside 50 lines it up looking for Ruse Ruse versus two over the back the big fellow for Richmond Turner thumped it clear it came out further afield and the Tigers are going to bring it out through Justin Pickering out towards Waitman Waitman picks it up on the centre wing on the member's side spears the pass in further he'll be looking down there for Gale couldn't take it running around and hand passing nicely as Keys got it around and Richmond go forward through Waitman again up towards the forward line looking for Hogg but here comes Lynch a long long hand pass he's looking for Bozzotto over there Bozzotto hand passes further afield to Bunn Bun to set a half forward and a free kick to uh, Fitzroy Strooper. Strooper interfered with by Andy Goodwin. Gave him the little bit of a hoppo bompo nudge And Strooper's got the ball. Hand passes further afield to Cormac. Out towards Whelan, who's up in front of Lees. Lees follows up. The hand pass came out from uh, the boy there in the pal. They're going to get it off. Picked up by Wilden again on the left boot. He's got a short, but he's kicked it straight to Andy Goodwin. And Goodwin's got the ball at centre half back, defending at the Ligon Street end. No scorers yet on the threat of the CIG scoreboard. The ball kicked back at the player up towards the centre of the ground. Knocked down by Stevens. There was a chance for Osborne. Lees came in, lost the run of it. It went to Bun, and Bun kicks high over towards centre half forward. High there was Strooper, knocked to the ground. A chance for Fitzroy as they run the ball through Cormac. His hand pass out is wild and wide. No play on as the call. Eventually it's picked up and pump a hand pass over in the direction of Rendell. Rendell dispossessed immediately. Tackled by Fickering. Picked up uh, there very quickly by Wind. Wind's kick high. Play on will be the call. It is at centre half forward for Fitzroy. To, uh, attacking towards the Ligon Street end. Players on their hands and knees, and eventually it's worked out to Powell. Powell of Richmond coming up through the centre of the ground. Drives the ball towards centre half forward over the heads of several players. Coming down strongly here. It'll be a chance for Fitzroy through Lynch. Spilled out there to Waitman. Waitman a hand pass out. Very quickly to Goodwood. It might be going over there on the left foot. And it's over the line through the boot of Hogg. Over the line to be a free kick for Fitzroy in the back pocket defending at the Sydney Road end on the uh, city side of the ground. Uh, Burke will bring it out of that back pocket up towards the centre half back spot and Bazzotto is taking the mark at centre half back for Fitzroy. Defending at the Sydney Road end he comes in to take his kick at the two and a, two and a half minute mark drives it further afield up to a struggling strooper knocked to the ground it's going to be picked up there taken away by richmond through mcqueen mcqueen's kicked the center wing position and over there will be nichols to take the free kick or the mark at center wing on that uh, might have been michael pickering it was up towards the half forward line and a good mark raked in there by the big fellow in gale on the half forward flank on the outer side or city side of the ground kicking the ball in forward oh. hog came out to take the mark and a hell of a bump uh, and the players, it was a fiery affair here last year, you may recall, and the players in there all over the spot now. Uh, Hogg will get a 50 metre penalty, I think, by the look of the umpire. The bump, I thought the bump happened in play. Uh, the umpire ruled that it would have been after the mark. Ron, how did you see it? Yes, it was after the mark. Uh, from here, it didn't look as though the play had time to stop, so this thought it shouldn't have been a 50 metre penalty. However, the umpire was a lot closer and would have seen on the player's face uh, the Fitzroy player's face is intense, so who's to criticise that? Well, Hogg's got into the goal square and put it through for goal, the first of the match. Uh, from a mark, we have noted, a mark and a 50-metre penalty, and the score is a goal to Richmond Fitzroy yet to score. Round the grounds, Gary Bryce at VFL Park. Footscray, one goal, Hawthorne, no score. John Murphy at Victoria Park. Collingwood, two behinds, but Bears yet to score. Here's Ron Barassi on 3AW. Yes, well, uh, both uh, teams, as, as we thought, are very keen to win this, and they have lots of reasons to do so. They need a score on the board, and they're playing the game with plenty of gusto. And that was just an example, that physical clash, of how hard they're going to play it here today. Four minutes into the quarter, four minutes into the first quarter of Princess Park, and it's a goal in perfect conditions to Richmond. Fitzroy yet to score on the 3OW CIG gas and gear scoreboard. Bound, uh, bounce in the centre, in Cloak, a couple of veterans there, Cloak and Randall. Randall got the uh, tap, didn't do much with it, went to Strooper, Strooper's hand pass out, has grabbed quickly. It'll be the Tigers coming away through Bannock onto the right foot, booting it uh, over to the member's side of the ground where it's bouncing awkwardly. It bounces favourably for Osborne. Osborne couldn't rake it in, tried to kick it off the turf, did so, didn't connect properly, picked up by Burke. Onto the left foot, that player, and he's kicked it straight over the line, out of bounds for a free kick uh, to Richmond. 
or is it there's going to be a free kick paid back to Burke? Now, no pun intended, it's going back to Burke on the half-back flank for Fitzroy, uh, defending at the Sydney Road end, and it's on uh, the member's side of the ground. Burke has the ball now, uh, coming away with it, hand passes very quickly across to Blakey, going across the half-back line, he's kicked it back up towards the Sydney Road end, so Stevens will have to make it good as it bounces and bounces, he does, traps it in the back pocket, it went from the half-back flank on one side to the back pocket of the other, and he's kicked it upfield, where a mark is taken over there by Roosevelt upfield, uh, so kicked uh, over towards the centre of the ground to Blakey, Blakey uh, will hand pass across further afield they go, Fitzroy bouncing and then hesitating, kicking it in towards Roos coming up from the centre half forward spot and taking the mark, Roos the crowd yell out and Roos took the mark, he's kicking towards the Ligon Street end, Richmond are a goal and Fitzroy yet to score and the ball about to be kicked by Paul Roos uh, from the half forward flank favouring the city side of the ground, Lynch uh, playing pretty well in defence and Roos has kicked up wheel but it's a poor kick and has another uh, bump after the, uh, yes, another 50 metre penalty and going up field with the ball it looks like it may be Knights in possession at the present time. Knights will come up to centre wing position now, travelling the city side of the ground. That's uh, two bumps after marks have been taken and two 50 metre penalties applied. Knights now from the centre wing on that city side kicking it for about 45-50 metres up field out there is Hogg, nullified by a Lynch coming in front of him. The ball going over towards the boundary line, it'll be thrown in on the 50 metre line on the city side at the Sydney Road end. Okay, waiting in ruck uh, for Richmond is Gale. He'll go up against Matthew Rendell. The ball on the 50 metre line on the left half forward flank with Richmond going to the Robert Heatley stand in. Ball back into the arena, knocked out by Gale looking for Hogg. It came down further afield and Fitzroy through Burke bring it out into the woods, the centre of the ground. Bannock goes through, takes the football, but running through Jimmy Wind has got the football and socks down and a kick towards Ruse. And Ruse is out in front of Turner, takes the mark. Hand pass it further afield and the ball goes down towards Wielden from that good kick by Stevenson. Wielden couldn't take it, nor Osmond. Cloak picks it up, kicks a wobbly all up country punt kick that bounces again for Stevenson. Stevenson of Fitzroy set us this football. Wielden will have a huge jump, thumped away there from Banny. It came down to Dundas, hand pass, but he was legged. Diving on the ball, Jimmy Wynn. He's picked it up. A beautiful smother by Lambert of Richmond. Went down to Wind again, Cormac picked it up, but Lambert has taken the free kick at, four, at the centre half back for Richmond, and he's got this particular kick. So Lambert on the left boot has got a lead out there from Gale of Richmond. Over the top comes Stevens of Fitzroy and thumps the ball, and it goes over the boundary line and out of bounds. Let's go to Sam Newman at the MCG. We've just been started 10 seconds, so there's no score. Ball back into play. Going up in ruck for Richmond is Cloak. With him, Strooper of Fitzroy. Cloak got it nicely. Looking down there for Nichols. Very close to the boundary line. Picked up by Wynn. Got it back, and the mark has been taken by McCormack. McCormack and Fitzroy's got Ruse, and he sights. Ruse comes across and takes a beautiful mark in front of Turner of Richmond. He's looking pretty good here, Ron. Yes, he is. His leading's been exceptionally good. Uh, a lot of space has been left uh, for him, but he has certainly got the marks on his opponent at the moment. Ruse from 48 metres. Goal to Fitzroy. Even Stephen. Fitzroy, one straight goal, six. Richmond, one straight goal, six. Ten minutes in, CIG Gas and Gear scoreboard. Gary Bryce at VFL Park. Hawthorne lead by a point. They're 117 to Footscray, one goal. John Murphy, Victoria Park. Collingwood, 128. Bears, two behind. For Fitzroy, that goal to Ruse. And for Richmond, Hogg has kicked a goal. Ten minutes in, Fitzroy and Richmond a goal each. Have to work hard for that. I wonder how many possessions they had. Bondi might be able to quickly calculate that as the quarter goes on. How many possessions Fitzroy had into the quarter to get that goal. At the centre bounce now, it's Rendell knocking it away. The chance for Cormac. He burrows in again. Then lost the run of it. Coming out very quickly was Bunn. It found its way out to Stevens of Fitzroy. He kicks up towards centre half forward. Dundas rushed the ball as he should, but McQueen will come from behind. Hand pass quickly and away they go through Nichols onto the right foot, booting it up towards the uh, centre half forward spot for Richmond, Stevens had a touch, it went down and McCormick, Kyle Cormack coming through, McCormick coming through, it spills loose to Knights, Knights a hand pass out as a chance for Richmond if they can pick the ball up quickly enough, over there it'll be Nichols uh, getting it in possession, he has a shot for goal it's not a bad looking shot either, and it's through for goal from the most acute of angles from a left footer on the boundary line on that city side of the ground and that's going to be very close to the prima goal of the day very close indeed and at 11 minutes into the quarter the Tigers two goals and Fitzroy one thank you let's go to Sam Newman at the MCG Melbourne a 1-1-7 North haven't scored Gary Bryce 
Witzgrave two goals. Hawthorne a 1-1-7. John Murphy. Collingwood 1-2-8. Brisbane two behinds. Back in the centre for the bounce here. Two goals to one. Richmond leading in an entertaining display thus far. 11 minutes in. Umpire's blown the whistle. Too many Richmond players in the square. And Randall comes out with a free kick. Crossing the circle now as he takes the kick. And he's kicked high into a lead by Wielden. Wielden upset there by Lees. The ball's bounced loose to Dundas. 25 metres out. Shot for goal. It is a goal. Another prima goal of the day. There'll be prima goals all over the place. If they keep on kicking them like this, that equalises the score on the 3WCIG scoreboard. Two goals apiece. Here's Graham Bond. Well, it took Fitzroy, as Bill mentioned, 33 possessions to gain their first goal. And from the centre bounce there, two quick possessions for their second. Here's Ron Barassi. A yeah, very good stand of uh, game here. Some good football being played. Last two goals a little bit similar, although uh, Nichols's kick was uh, just an absolute pearler from the from the bounty line about 40 metres out. Lovely kick. Umpire Dye got the ball in his hands and places it down in beautiful condition it sits beautifully Rendell looking for Cormac interfered with there by Knights play on said the umpire coming through they're trying to get it out through Strooper on the left boot down towards the wing position Waitman allows Pickering to come through picking up the ball Osborne for Fitzroy hand passes to Bunn in turn to uh, Cormac he spins around does it nicely takes a bounce and Joe Cormac runs around with a lead from Ruse has got it again he is looking very dangerous, Ruse, when he comes out in front of young Turner, who all he can see is the number one and the buttocks of Ruse stretching out. And he looks vintage Ruse today. Paul Ruse on a 45 degree angle has kicked the football behind. 2-1-13 Fitzroy. Richmond, two straight goals, 12 CIG gas and gear scoreboard. Sam Newman at the MCG. Melbourne at 2-1-13, North haven't scored. Gary Bryce. Foots grade two goals straight, Hawthorne 1 1 7. John Murphy. Collingwood 1 3 9, Brisbane two behinds. Turner for Richmond at the Ligon Street end. Kicks a mammoth 60 metre kick and a brilliant mark by Rendell has been paid. Cloak doesn't like the decision, but Matthew Rendell has got this football. He's looking uh, to hand pass, but now he goes forward, backhand, forehand, juice. Comes out and kicks it long down there, looking for Stevens, and Stevens is marked for Fitzroy. So Stevens is told to play on. He runs around Gale. Stevens is playing centre half back. He's inside 50 now. He can line this football up, which has gone a long way. McQueen. Good defensive tactics by Steve McQueen as he thumped the ball through the minor scoring area, which is the main scoring area, but the footy went behind, of course. Fitzroy 2 2 14. Richmond 2 straight goals 12. 3RW CIG gas and gear scoreboard. Turner getting it back into play and the mark will be taken up there uh, by uh, Bannock. Bannock taking the mark on the half-back flank, ranging across towards the member side of the ground. He kicks long, a lovely kick, up to centre wing position on the member side of the ground. Blakey spoils effectively down in the direction of Osborne who scooped it up effectively. Hand passed very quickly across to Wielden. Play on us a call. The umpire blew the whistle, I know not why. And Wielden's kicked it over towards Ruse. Ruse there, shoving and pushing. It's gone down the ground. A chance there for Cormac and coming too strongly is Turner. Turner for Richmond. Pushes it out over towards Cloak. Cloak lumbering over there on the 50 metre line on the city side of the ground. It's kicked off the ground by Ruse up towards Strooper. Strooper pushed in the back it looked like and the umpire thinks it was too. Strooper comes up with a free kick. They're trying to play the advantage rule but they can't do that and Strooper will have the free kick from a position on a, uh, maybe 40 metres out on an angle of probably 50 degrees. Coming in from the city side and kicking to the Ligon Street end. 2-2 Fitzroy. Richmond two goals and not a bad game of football up to the 14 and a half minute mark of the quarter. Strooper well back over the 50 metre line now he, as he stands he would be 60 metres out from goal but he'll cross the 50 metre line up to it now just stutters a little bit and kicks from about 45 metres out the distance no problem I don't like the look of it from the point of view of accuracy it's one point only and Fitzroy on a 2-3-15 lead the Tigers two goals Sam Newman at MCG Melbourne by a point they're 2-1-13 north of two straight goals Turner will kick the ball back into play. He's been getting the run around this kid uh, uh, by Ruse, and he kicks it back into play, straight upfield, up towards the centre of the ground. Rendell there, so is Goodwin. Goodwin got a touch. It went to the ground towards Whiteman. Goodwin kicked it off the ground. Fumbles galore. Came out to McCormick. McCormick will hand pass upfield to Stevens, who again has got to make it uh, good. He patted it down and picked it up and kicked it wide over towards the city side of the ground. Over there is Cormac. Cormac has it. Chips it in towards Osborne. Osborne marks. Osborne marks half forward flank on the city side of the ground. Backs his pace to accelerate and spurt away. 50 metres out. Let's fly it. He's kicked the goal. No, one point. Well, they're certainly moving the ball in pretty good fashion, R.D. Barassi. Yes, uh, <laughs> that was a vintage Osborne in a way, mm. particularly if he kicked the goal. But the way you look at the opponent, size him up, I can beat you, took him on and did beat him. 2-4 to 
two goals. Uh, comma there, Ron. <laughs> Fitzroy leading, kicking up towards the centre-half back spot, knocked away by Randall, it's only come out loose to Stevenson, that player spears a beautiful pass, it wasn't so beautiful, it was in the direction of Ruse, but it was a little bit long and wide, and it went over the line to be thrown back into play. 40 metres out from goal, at the Ligon Street, and on the member side of the ground, Fitzroy 2-4-16, lead Richmond two goals, 12 points, at 16 minutes into the quarter as the umpire flings it back into play, now it comes out towards Cloak, Cloak the wrestling there was Strooper, Strooper picked it up, pumped a nice hand pass out to Windu, got the shock of his life, then he turned and kicked it very quickly and uh, because of the hurried nature of the kick it wasn't quite accurate enough and it threw for a point, so Fitzroy 2, 5, 17 and Richmond 2 goals. Sam Newman at the MCG. Melbourne by a point 2, 1, 13, North 2 straight goals. Gary Bryce, VFL Park Footscray 4 straight, 24 to Hawthorne 2, 1, 13. Turner kicks it outside, 50 to the centre of the ground going up cloak, couldn't spoil Strooper picking up the ball, Lambert for Richmond on centre wing takes a bounce, a low trajectory kick falls straight into the hands of Waitman at set a half forward who couldn't believe his luck. So the flea has got it. He's got a lead further afield from Hogg. Going up there as Keys of Richmond. Couldn't take it. Coming through, hand passing was Pickering and then kicked it out of bounds on the fall. So that hand pass uh, came from Truella to Pickering and he kicked it out of bounds on the fall. So uh, here we are at uh, Prince's Park with Stevens now. Stevens has got this kick for Fitzroy. Places it outside 50 on the half-back bank in the, into the arms of uh, Osmond. A very quick kick down towards Stevenson of Fitzroy. Punched away from that player. Went down to Andy Goodwin. Ducked under Osmond. Ducked under him again and too high, oh. says umpire Mitchell. Ron, you didn't like that? No, he just dived into the player with his head. You can't get a, get a free kick just because of that. Well, Goodwin using his head has got the football. And here comes Hogg. Couldn't take the mark, but he's got the free kick. Hogg. And umpire Chris Mitchell said that Lynch got into the back of Hogg, who's already kicked the goal after that crunch that he uh, received when he led on the outer side of the ground. So Hogg is a pretty accurate sort of a kick. And to my mind, he'd be a fair show to score from here. Hogg stands 53, will kick from 48 and puts it on its way, and it's not a good kick. It will land into the main scoring area and slump through by Stevens for a minor score. Richmond at 2-1-13, Fitzroy 2-5-17, Gary Bryce at VFL Park. Footscray 4-1-25, leading Hawthorne 2-1-13. John Murphy at Victoria Park. Brisbane lead by four points, 2-2-14, Collingwood 1-4-10. Dundas kicks it out. Out very wide over there, and I think he might find it Harding, the player over there, going long and hand pass quickly to Lynch coming up field, then to Rendell, Rendell got it further afield and Fitzroy flow up the ground, kicking up towards the half forward line and over there is Bizzotto taking the mark, onto his left foot, he's kicked it back in towards the centre and Struber made it good for him rather than making the pass, Struber's marked at centre half forward, chips it in and coming in to take the mark is Cormac who's been pretty impressive today uh, in the brief time that we've been playing and that's about 18 minutes, Cormac as distinct from Cormac, uh, Cormac number 16 has taken the mark at centre half forward for Fitzroy, kicking down towards the Ligon Street end Dundas running by, but Cormac will have a fly at this one. There's nothing surer. Fitzroy 2-5, inaccurate on 2-1 Richmond. Here's Cormac coming in now. Didn't like his approach all that much, and uh, the kick uh, it didn't look quite right, Ron, did it? Uh, no, he didn't. Uh, also, he only took a couple of steps. It's interesting to see how some killed the players now with the, another tuition from Hudson. Peter Hudson, they're taking, seem to be taking much longer run-ups in their set kick situations. Well, Fitzroy 2-6 to 2-1 on the 3WCIG scoreboard and the ball to be kicked back into play by Turner. He does this and he drives it across uh, favouring the city side of the ground. Cloak spoiled by Rendell. A chance there for Knights coming through. He battled his way through. Did it very well to hand pass to Lambert on centre wing. Lambert of Richmond kicking over towards centre half forward. Gale was there. It's free now. It's loose at centre half forward or centre half back. But eventually the ball's hurried over towards the boundary line and it'll be thrown in from the forward pocket on the member side of, of the ground in front of the Carlton Social Club which is situated at the Sydney Road or Royal Parade end of Prince's Park. 2-6 to 2-1 on the 3RW scoreboard, 3RW CIG scoreboard, and the umpire about to put it back into play. He does this now. In the front berth is Cloak, wrestling with Stevens, got it down, went down to the ground, a chance there for Lambert, whose hand pass was hurried, forced to, out towards Dundas, who tapped it and tapped it and tapped it and tapped it again and eventually picked it up, and eventually hand passed quickly to Bun. Bun will have to be quick, he is, to hand pass to Wind. Wind onto the right foot has kicked it towards the boundary line, where it's bouncing awkwardly for all concerned, and the boundary umpire signals it's out of bounds to be thrown in. 
between centre wing and half forward flank for Fitzroy as they travel around the member side up to their uh, destination at the Ligon Street end. 2-6 to 2-1 uh, Fitzroy leading on the 3WCIG scoreboard. The ball about to be play, uh, thrown back at the play. Bound around by taking his time about it. Now he whirls it back. In there is Cloak. Cloak doing battle. Won the punch. Didn't do anything much about it. Went over towards the boundary line. Nace was there but it's over the line to be thrown in. Centre wing position. Member side of the ground. Uh, 19 minutes into the quarter and at Fitzroy 2-6 to 2-1. Cloak will go up against Trooper on centre wing position on the members side of Prince's Park the ball from the shadow into the sun thumped nicely by Cloak and it's going to go very close to the boundary line but Richmond player picked it up I couldn't see him because of the roof right up high there Pickering couldn't take the mark the ball came out towards Gale Kicked off the ground by uh, Blakey, going through for Fitzroy, picked up by Osborn. And passing further afield to McCormack. A worm burner couldn't find Ruse. Over the top of the ball, giving away the free kick is Bizzotto, and Knights takes the kick. The short is on, and Knights finds Powell. Powell of Richmond right over the top, gets it further afield to Campbell. Campbell of Richmond, hand passes to Pickering. Back to Campbell, the short to Hogg. And Hogg goes out in front of Lynch and takes his third mark for the day. So Hogg has kicked a goal almost uh, where he took the other mark and then got 50 metres to secure that major. But Hogg bending over the football at 53 metres will kick again from 49 and puts it on its way for no score. Rush through by Mark Bunn. And the football goes behind. Up periscope, Ron. Yeah, I was just going to ask Bondi. Bondi, was there any wind out there when you were out there? Yes, it's a slight breeze favouring the uh, Ligon Street end, Ron. Seems to have strengthened a bit in the last ten minutes. That's from the northwest, uh, and what a shocking kick out by Lynch. They'll get away with it. Picked up by Burke of Fitzroy. A skew with kick into the centre. McQueen of Fitzman picks it up. He's dispossessed. Coming out, accepting the hand pass was wind. Backing up again, Bizzotto. Couldn't get it going. Play on, said the umpire. It came out to Stevenson on the left boot, looking for Ruse. Nearly took a great mark. Play on, said the umpire. He was high then. And coming out was Ruse. If this doesn't off break, it's through and it's a goal. A little bit of luck there. Ruse, who was high as a dead sheep. He couldn't take the mark. Picked it up and kicked it through. 23 minutes gone. Ruse has kicked a couple. And Fitzroy a 3-6-24, Richmond 2-2-14, CIG gas and gear scoreboard, Sam Newman, MCG. Why is it dead sheep? Melbourne 5-1-31, 13 points ahead of North, three straight goals. Gary Bryce, VFL Park. It's Footscray by two goals, they're 4-1-25, Hawthorne at 2-1-13. John Murphy, Victoria Park, Osborne's reported here, Murph, sorry about that. The Bears lead by 10 points, 4-2-26, Collingwood 2-4-16. No one saw anything but Osborne's had his number taken by umpire Mitchell, here's Bill. Yes, uh, well, that's a behind the play instant, quite obviously, that only one person saw, I should imagine. Anyhow, Rendell knocked it down, in towards Lambert of Richmond, who had it for a moment, lost it, and the umpire will bounce the ball in the centre. 3-6 to 2-2 two, two is the score. Fitzroy really pepped up. They would both be pepped up, that's for sure. But Fitzroy, when Roos kicked that goal, they surged on him, and, uh, and congratulations came from everywhere. At the centre, bounce again. Rendell, I pay that one too, went to Cormac. He couldn't get it clear. It came out again, kicked off the ground by Whiteman, and uh, the umpire said there's a free kick here to Fitzroy and it'll go to McCormick. McCormick in the centre of the ground, doesn't know which way to go for the moment. The umpire is bringing Whiteman back 50 metres. Whew. Well, I would say this, fellas, uh, just don't uh, put your fingernail over the line today because uh, you'll be in more trouble than the early settlers. And Nash was the offending party, not Whiteman, and he's running back uh, discussing the matter with the umpire, which brings McCormick uh, much closer to goal. Uh, in fact, he's so close, he's 35 to 40 metres out, whereas before, he was in the centre of the ground. 3-6 to 2-2, two, two, Fitzroy leading, and McCormick coming in to take his kick. He's put this one on its way, and that's a bad kick. They may live to regret their inaccuracy. They're 3-7 to 2-2. Two, two. They've had much the better of the quarter. Of Fitzroy and it's crept up to 24 minutes. And the ball will be kicked back for Richmond by Burke. Sam Newman, your score. Melbourne of 5 1 31, seven points ahead of North, four straight goals, 24. Turner it is, not Burke of Richmond. Burke plays for Fitzroy and the mark taken by Big David Cloak. He'll be looking to play on. He uh, was going to give it to Nation. Now he's going to kick the worst kick in VFL history and puts uh, Lees under great pressure. Hand passes to Cloak. Cloak comes out, kicks it off the ground, straight into the arms of McQueen. McQueen kicks it down to the wing position, looking for Justin Pickering. A spill is on. Here comes Osborne. He's been reported, but he picks it up and kicks it forward, but Bennett punches himself into a nice mark. 
And uh, Bannock of Richmond has got this kick on the right half back flank with Richmond going to the Sydney Road end. A good looking kick down towards Gale. Couldn't take the mark for Richmond. There's a free kick to the Tigers and it's going to be taken by the big fellow there in uh, Truella. So Truella, a former Fitzroy player, Truella. And he's got the football at right half forward. Make it right wing and a shocking looking kick. But Hogg goes up one handed. Couldn't take it. Knocked off the ground by Lynch. Over the top of the football. I'll have to get it out. Waitman comes through and cops one. It's flung out. It's kicked off by Stevens into a mauling pack of players. And umpire Shane Harris will bounce. On the half forward flank for Richmond. The half forward flank on the member side. And they're kicking up to the Sydney Road end. They need to accelerate in their scoring. They're 2-2 two, two to 3-7. Fitzroy could have had them by the throat but for inaccuracy and some very poor kicking. And back into the bounce area now on the half forward line. I think Rendell may have got that down. It went down towards Cormac. He lost the run. About a chance there for Knights to come in. He had it. Blake, he was legged on the way through. Play on was a call. The ball coming out now and McCormick will make it good. McCormick being grabbed by Lambert. Play on got it out again. A chance here for Wynn. Wynn gets a hand pass. Have to be quick. He is. Kicks up towards the half forward line and Dundas crawling forward has taken the mark uh, between half forward and centre wing position. Osborne and Tre his opponent Trevella having an argument about something there but in the meantime the ball is kicked by Dundas up to Strooper and Strooper marks with the man on the mark coming well over well over the mark and Strooper will take the kick from about 50 metres out. He has leads from Wheeldon, he's ignoring that one and Strooper will kick from an angle of 45 degrees about 50 metres out kicking to the Ligon Street end. McQueen, the man standing the mark, and Strooper comes in now, puts it on its way. It's going a little bit the wrong way again, and it's one point only. And from 11 scoring shots, Fitzroy have posted 3-8 to 2-2 on the 3WCIG scoreboard. Gary Bryce, VFL Park. Footscray, 5-2-32, lead Hawthorne, 2-1-13. John Murphy, Victoria Park. Brisbane, 5-2-32, of a 17-point lead over Collingwood, 2-5-17. Turner kicks it outside 50 from the fullback position, looking for cloak thumped away there by Strooper, spills inside 50, Lees is legged, and Wilden doesn't like the kick, but uh, Lees hand passes further afield. Gets it across to Powell, a very good kick, but a good mark there by Fitzroy's player in Bizzotto. Bizzotto kicks it across there, it's very dangerous, looking for McCormack, couldn't take the mark. Coming down, Nace picks up the football, kicks it towards Hogg, thumped away by Lynch, into the arms of McCormack and Fitzroy. On the left boot, gets it forward, a very strong player, looking for Cormack, diving on the ball, not good enough. Here comes Cormack again, taps it on, picked up further afield by Powell, hand passes to Knights of Richmond, the Tigers are away, Knights has got Hogg, bang! Beautiful kick by Knights from Barassi. Yes, fantastic work by Paolo, just the same. Uh, it was his uh, very, very hard work and creative stuff in the middle there uh, that got, eventually got that ball so it could be passed up towards Hoggy, who's uh, yeah, playing pretty well today. Both full forwards moving around today. Ruse has got two. Hogg has got one. He stands and from 35 metres out on a 45 degree angle, he delivers and he's kicked a point. Richmond at 2 3 15, Fitzroy 3 8 26. They should dob them, Ron. Oh, well, I just get sick and tired of seeing guys with two or three steps. How can you get leg, leg speed up if you just go two or three steps? I can't believe it. A score from Sam Newman at the MCG. Melbourne by two goals, 7 1 43, North Melbourne 5 1 31. Lynch drives it back up field. The mark will be taken by Blakey and a hand pass to Burke. Burke travels the half back flank, kicks over towards uh, the city side of the ground on Elliott's over there. Elliott it bounces kindly for him, picks it up. Drives it further up field. It's an ill-directed kick and Bannock takes the mark. Running across the half-back line, defending at the Ligon Street end. Bannock now driving it forward. A lovely kick from that youngster. Up towards centre wing. Blakey spoiled. It went to Stevens. He kicked it just a little bit upfield. Waitman takes the mark. Centre wing on the city side of the ground. Driving it into a lead upfield and coming in to take the mark. Uh, for Richmond will be Justin Pickering. Justin Pickering spears it upfield. Off the hands of a couple of players and it went loose to Lynch. Lynch roaming the back of the pack. Has got under control. Bounces once. Delivers it wide. Over back straight Straight back to Whiteman, and Whiteman marks on centre wing. Hand passes quickly. Upfield they go. Michael Pickering over there onto the left foot, driving it in towards the forward pocket. High, several players high. Justin Pickering was one. Michael Pickering backed up and kicked it back up towards the goal square, where the mark is taken comfortably up there by Harding, I think it was. It is, and coming across the back line now, gives it to McCormick, who's played a very good first quarter. He spears the pass to Rendell, who marks on the half-back flank on the member's side. Defending at the Sydney Road end, and a hand pass across. It wasn't as tight as it should have been. It may go back, and it'll come back 
back to McCormick, and the half-back line on the member side of the ground, onto the left foot he goes, and he picks it out, and he gets Osborne. Osborne's had a pretty good first quarter too. Osborne kicks it high, up towards his old mate Ruse up there. They spoil him. Down to the ground it goes. Coming across at the back of the pack, and it'll be kicked through for a goal by Harding. Harding's kicked it off the ground. He swooped on it there and kicked it off Fitzroy, making it a more respectable-looking 4-8 to 2-3 on the 3WCIG scoreboard. Go around the grounds for CIG. Sam Newman at the MCG. Melbourne have got it to three goals up. They're 8 one north of 5-1-31. Gary Bryce, VFL Park. Footscray lead by four goals. They're 6-2-38. Hawthorne at 2-2-14. John Murphy, Victoria Park. Quarter time, Brisbane lead by 14 points. 5-2-32. Collingwood, 2-6. 18. Umpire Harris has got the ball and he's going to bounce it at the 31 minute mark here at Princess Park. 4 8 32 Fitzroy Richmond 2 3 15. Knocked out of the centre. Here comes Waitman. Picked up by Knights. Hand passing across to Goodwin of Richmond. Kicks it to the lead down there of Keys. And Keys goes up in front of Ross Lyon and takes a nice mark for Richmond. So Keys, the Richmond number one draft choice this year from Collingwood. Will stand 55 metres and will kick it from 50. He's on a 45 degree angle, kicking this football into the face of the North Westley, coming from the Robert Heatley stand. And it is a long kick, and it's a goal. That is just a magnificent kick. A long, long kick, in fact. And Richmond have got 3 3 21, Fitzroy 4 8 32. CIG gas and gear scoreboard, Romba Rassi. Yes, very good uh, overhead mark, uh, that particular one by Terry Keyes there. <laughs> didn't particularly like the way he just kept on running when he gained possession uh, away from goal without thinking perhaps there might be a man in the goal square but uh, he put himself under a bit of pressure by having to do that kick then that was a very very good kick luckily for 31 inside. minutes played and at the bounce it's Randall coming in just got a touch to it and went down to Knights Knights on hands and knees and pass it away intercepted there very quickly uh, by Strooper kicking up field up towards centre half forward went off the hands of Osborne uh, maybe he should have marked it it's being knocked further afield and Richmond come out from the back pocket up towards centre wing position looking for Knights and Knights is there Knights getting it away after receiving uh, from uh, from uh, Powell and Powell gets it on the way back Powell is driven in towards centre half forward Blakey takes the mark at centre half back for Fitzroy been pretty fast and furious. Blakey hand passes across to Burke and Burke kicks to Strooper. Strooper on centre wing on the member side of the ground. Has to do it the hard way. Taps it further afield. The umpire said he was interfered with after uh, he had tapped the ball away and he got the free kick and hand passed immediately to McCormick. McCormick reminds me of somebody. I'm not sure. I'll remember it sooner or later. The ball is up towards the full back position, full forward. Knocked away from Roos, but he makes it good. Picks it up and snaps it pretty quickly. It's got a chance. One point only. Fitzroy 4-9. 4 9 4 9 33. It's a pretty exciting term and on the Makita BBC scoreboard Fitzroy a 4-9-33 in Richmond in 3-3-21 the ball now goes into the ground and flies in the air knocked out backhanded by Rendell coming down to McCormack a good kick inside 50 looking further afield for Harding the bounce doesn't favour him but Harding picks it up beautifully bounces inside 50 and lines up with Ruse in the van here if he can get it but very good play by Turner used his buttocks beautifully to just hump uh, Ruse out of the way and put him off. He looked like he had the set there at one stage, but he couldn't take the mark. So the ball now back into the arena, out of the shadow, into the sunshine, and Cloak thumps it through the through the uh, behind area, and it's a behind. Fitzroy a 4-10-34, Richmond 3-3-21. Ruse looked like he had the set there at the moment, Ron. Yeah, look, had the favoured position. Uh, in fact, I expected really him to take the mark, but uh, his opponent, Richmond opponent, fullback in X well on that occasion. That opponent, Turner, kicks a beautiful looking kick, 60 metres out, looking further afield for Cloak, knocked away by Rendell, came right into Rendell and he fell over like a big uh, horse there, came out to Waitman who dropped it like a hot top and gets out to Goodwin, Goodwin runs around, he now puts the boot of the ball and travels a long way inside 50, but good mark by Stevens. Left half back for Fitzroy. He has repelled that attack and he's got a short to Joe Cormack if he wants it and he does. 30 metres the kick. McCormick mark. Put it down. Put it down again. Runs around. Puts Bun under pressure. Waitman comes through. He's got a player further afield if he wants him. It's Pickering. Justin oh. kicks it out of bounds. No talking there from Ryan who must take a rep over the knuckles, Ron. Well, not only Ryan, but uh, what about the Fitzroy player? 
uh, coming up there with that uh, shocking hospital hand pass. It was a couple of uh, very ordinary uh, parts of football there by both sides in contrast a bit to the fairly good quality of the first quarter, I thought. Sam Newman at the MCG. It's quarter time and both sides are 9-1-55. That's North Melbourne and North Melbourne. Well, you can say that's a record, Sam. You can say that's the first time each team's kicked nine, one and a quarter, and I reckon you'd be right. So now the ball about to come back and apply from the boot of Lynch. Lynch now kicking it around the uh, member side of the ground, the northern wing, thumped away by Cloak. Cloak has knocked it down to the ground, out to Justin Pickering. Pickering taps it across to uh, Knights, and Knights uh, just trails the ball along over the line to be thrown in. At the 50-metre mark on the member side at the Ligon Street end, 4-10 to 3-3. Fitzroy leading 3-0 Makita scoreboard, and the ball coming back in a play now, whirling and twirling, knocked away by uh, Gale over the top there, went out in the direction of several players, McCormick had it Lambert tackled him too high I thought Lambert had his hands on the peanut, on the ball really, but McCormick comes away with it Kip for Fitzroy, kicks across to Stevens who's got the ability to get on his own his hand passed to Burke, was absolutely sh shocking, went to Blakey uh, but there's something happened behind play again and a Richmond player is going to get the free kick, Blakey was just about to head off and uh, coming up with a free kick will be nice by the look of it in the middle of the ground, near enough to the middle of the ground and the man standing the mark is Burke. 4-10 Fitzroy, 3-3 Richmond, 3-0 Makita scoreboard and Nace has the kick back near the centre circle and kicking to the Ligon Street end. Coming in to take the kick now and he's kicked it nice and long. It's 45, 50 metres upfield. At the back was Rendell who rarely marks, knocked it away. Uh, Cormac got it, hand pass across very quickly and Fitzroy come out of it with Lyon booting it around the centre wing uh, up towards Dundas. Dundas couldn't uh, complete the mark. The hand pass came out quickly. A chance there, play on as a call. The Richmond player has been pushed in the back and coming up with a free kick will be Powell. Powell now at centre wing or better off than that kicking towards the Ligon Street end. Sees the short leading up into it. Uh, thought the mark was hog. Play on was a call. Hand pass to Whiteman from Justin Pickering. Whiteman onto the left foot and he's kicked it through for one point. He was floored up in that area of the ground last year. I think it was last year and there was a hell of a blue uh, at that, that time and towards the end of the game. And the score now is Fitzroy 4-10 after all that nonsense and fits uh, Richmond a 3-4. Gary Bryce at VFL Park. Footscray 7-3-45, lead Hawthorne 4-2-26. John Murphy at Victoria Park. Brisbane by 20 points, 7-2-44, Collingwood 3-6-24. Lyon with the ball. About to kick it back into play and he sees Lynch upfield. Kicks to that player and Lynch has taken the mark uh, in the back pocket on the member side. His kick is going to make it hard for Stevens, but Stevens gets there quickly enough to take the mark. He's taking his time getting away and then does Ron Gray. I'll ask you why in a minute. The ball's kicked up towards the centre week position and the mark has been taken by Richmond. Richmond taking it away through Powell. Powell kicks towards centre wing, uh, getting closer to the centre of the ground. The marks have been taken there by Ryan of Richmond. Ryan now turns and kicks it up towards centre half forward. Bounced awkwardly for all players. It's not for Nace. Nace got it to Waitman. Waitman to Knights, 35 metres out. Plum in front kicks the goal. Rammed it through. That was cohesive football. And uh, Richmond now making things look decidedly awkward for Fitzroy. Richmond have advanced on to 4-4. Fitzroy 4-10. Ron, why was the growl? Uh, actually, it wasn't my growl. It was, uh, <laughs> was Hunty's uh, was bill. Mine. But, I just but for the same reason. Any talking there, Bill. Uh, uh, you know, the guy took a bounce and, and the team player was standing there looking at him. Obviously didn't say that Justin Pickering was on his ginger, but they got away with it. Well, so I, I growled, that, Bill. I knew there was, I was nothing. <laughs> no, you can't beat a growl now. And then it's back in the centre of the ground. It's 4-10 to 4-4 on the 3W scoreboard. 3W McKee to scoreboard. 34 to 28. Fitzroy leading uh, just by the margin of six points at five minutes into the second quarter. Umpire looking around to see that his colleagues are positioned satisfies himself that they are moves slowly towards the centre and now he puts the ball down in the centre of the ground. Down it goes and come the Ruckman to do battle. It was Rendell off the wrist not the hand and picked up by Cormac. He quicks it quickly up towards centre half forward. It's a pretty pacey game. Over it goes a chance here for Dundas running out in front of Lambert. Dundas decides to soccer it off the ground and it goes over the line on the city side of the ground between the centre wing and half forward flank for Fitzroy attacking to the Sydney Road end. 4-10 to 4-4 Fitzroy leading by 6 points 14-8 uh, with about 6.6 6 more uh, scoring shots uh, so the inaccuracy has cost them dearly at this stage. Back into play and Cloak won it. Beat Rendell on that occasion. Wind coming through. Tapped it away. Went out very quickly uh, to Waitman. Waitman onto the right foot. Kicks it to centre wing on the city side of the ground. Spoiling by Justin Pickering. Went to the ground. A hand pass went astray. There's a chance here for Fitzroy if they're quick enough through Blakey. Not. Went to the ground. Several players on top of him but he fossicked it out somehow or other. Burke knocked it away. A chance there for Fitzroy getting out to Stevens from Dundas. And Stevens has stopped and kicked to Rendell. And Rendell marks in the pit of the stomach on the outer side of city 
Sunday side of the ground. He's near enough to centre wing position. We'll call it that as he drives the ball up towards the half forward line. High at the back was Goodwin and he's taken a top mark. On that half back flank on the city side of the ground, up towards centre wing, better than a half back flank. And Goodwin, Andy Goodwin takes his kick now. Pretty spirited player, up towards the half forward line. And the mark has been paid to Richmond by over there. It'll be Gale taking the mark at centre wing or better off. Centre wing on the city side of the ground. He hesitates now, looking for a lead telling players, indicating he wants them to spread out and lead, he kicks it high in towards the centre half forward spot, Fitzroy players, Mass there, down on the ground, a Waitman tackle quickly, Nace was in there also eventually going to be picked up the umpire is going to pay a free kick here and he gets up to separate the Mass and uh, by the look of things it's going to be a free kick to Waitman Waitman the recipient of the free kick at centre half forward, little wide of that position favouring the city side of the ground and a chance to equalise the scores on 4, 10 to 4, 4, 5, 4 if he can kick a goal at 10 minutes into the second quarter here at Princess Park. 10 minute mark, Waitman now coming over the 50 metre line, probably the smallest player on the ground, putting it on its way now, and it's spinning in the right way for a goal for Richmond. So scores are level here at uh, Princess Park. Big press contingent, I might add, here today, placing some importance on the battle of these uh, de deflated clubs and scores a level of 34 points apiece. Around the ground, Sam Newman at the MCG. Been going a minute. Melbourne have kicked a goal already. They're 10 262 north and 9 155. Gary Bryce at VFL Park. Splits grey by 25 points. They're 8 351. Hawthorne a 4 2 26. John Murphy, Victoria Park. Brisbane 7 3 45. Collingwood 4 6.30, Mark Richardson a goal with his first kick in league football. And umpire Chris Mitchell puts the ball down again. Cloak went high, but it was knocked out by Rendell. Tapped towards Lambert, who hand-passed the Knights of Richmond on centre wing out of side. A skew if up country punt kick goes over, makes it hard for Lynch. Off the top of the pack, Hogg will kick a goal. He's kicked two. And it was as simple as that because Fitzroy had nowhere to go. They were up the creek without a canoe. And Hogg took it off the top of the pack and had an open paddock and ran in and kicked his second. Richmond looked good. They're 6 4 40. Fitzroy 4 10 34. 3 W Makita BBC scoreboard. Someone's pinched the knacker and here comes a new one and here's Ron Barassi. Uh, wind has strengthened here, which makes the situation for Richmond. Uh, 20 minutes with a pretty strong wind, and they've already got a six-point lead, so it's a very, very good start to Richmond for this quarter, and they can thank Terry Keyes, of course, for the last goal in the last quarter for keeping them... Uh, uh, even more in touch in that very ordinary quarter for them. Richmond in front by six points, umpire Harris knocked out by Cloak, found Nace, kicked it inside 50, Burke thumped it in the air, knocked on by Lambert, Bunn knocked it on looking for Blakey, here comes Waitman he's given him the flick but there's a free kick Waitman, there's a free kick back here going to Fitzroy and to mine if the umpire had blown time on before Waitman picked the football up, it could be a 50 he made a penalty, but I don't think it's going to be wrong. No, uh, I think the umpire's right, though. I think he's made the right decision uh, there. Bunn picks himself up, and uh, he's winded. But Mrs. Bunn, your son looks all right, as the free kick will be taken by Stevens. Hand pass further afield, and Fitzroy are going to bring it out through Bizzotto, and out to O'Harding, I should say. It comes out towards Knights. Hand pass is good, who dropped it. Picking it up there, Stevens going through. Wielden comes out towards Cormac. He runs around and he's tackled. Looking from support with a hand pass to Rendell. Slow as a wet wheat, but he puts it into the air. It goes down and going up Turner. Lee's there as well. Osmond's tackled and will be penalised for holding the footy. Well, he's, uh, he's penalised and the free kick is going to go to Richmond in their last line of defence. They're leading by six points on the 3 W Makita scoreboard as they take the ball around to Justin Pickering coming up to take the mark on the half-back flank on the city side of the ground. Defending at the Sydney Road end, Justin Pickering now spears the ball in the direction of Waitman and that player takes the mark over, no, 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 takes the mark uh, getting over to the centre wing position. He's coming into the play a little bit now. He's kicked it in towards the centre half forward spot where they fly and a good clean mark 
uh, to Richmond, taken over there by Gale. Gale wide of centre half forward has kicked into the man on the mark, and that was Stevens. He was looking for Hogg coming up field. Stevens has got the fumbles. A long hand pass out. It's very wide out in the direction of Dundas, who's turned the wrong way, but he eventually pumped the hand pass to Stevens. Back up field, a little bit further to McCormick. Onto the left foot, and he's kicked it wide over towards Strooper, but it's too long. Out of bounds on the full, and the free kick will go to Richmond on their half back line on the city side of the ground. It's 6 4 to 4 10. Um, better still, it's a free kick to Goodwin, and that player has kicked it up uh, field, up towards centre wing position. It's loose now. Off the pack it came, a chance for Fitzroy to deliver the ball uh, further afield. They did so, up towards the centre wing position. Pickering uh, knocked in the back, and Justin Pickering will take the free kick, I think, coming up out of that uh, mess over there on that city side of the ground, and he'll take the free kick, or it might be McQueen uh, coming up with the ball on the centre wing position. McQueen now kicking up towards the scoreboard end or the Ligon Street end. It's a long kick. It will reach the half forward line. Up there is Michael Pickering and he takes the mark of in front of his opponent. Richmond have lifted. Most certainly have lifted and Fitzroy have stopped, I suppose. But you do that if your opponents dictate the terms. That's what's happening at the moment. Down to the ground. Knocked away by Lynch. Up towards the half back line on that outer city side of the ground. Kicked off the ground by several players. Burke in particular coming through. Out to Osborne. Grab. Play on as a ball. A healthy crowd. Raw ball. They wanted ball. It's in towards the centre of the ground now. More vigorous, picked up by McQueen. Good football to get it to Knights. Under the left foot, and he's kicked it high up there. Coming out there, several players now. Like good mark to Richmond's home. Good mark to the Tigers up there at the centre half forward spot. It's Keys, better than centre half forward. In fact, he's uh, near enough to call it full forward now, and he should have no difficulty in goaling, although uh, he did kick one in the first quarter, as I recall. 6 4 to 4 10. Richmond 40 to 34. At 12 minutes into the quarter, they have lifted their game. Here's Keyes coming in, and he's put on its way for another goal. Clapped through by Hogg. So the Tigers have opened up a 12 point advantage. 7 4 to 4 10 on the 3RW Makita scoreboard. Richmond's goals Hogg 2, Keyes 2, Nichols, Knights, and Waitman. Fitzroy, Ruse 2, Dundas, and Harding. Sam Newman and your score at the MCG. Melbourne at 10-3-63. North Melbourne at 9-3-57. Gary Bryce at VFL Park. Puts Grey lead by 25 points. They're 9-3-57. Hawthorne a 5-2-32. And at Victoria Park, John Murphy. Brisbane lead by 21 points. 8-4-52. Collingwood 4-7-31. Umpire Chris Mitchell has the ball back in the centre of the ground. 13 minutes have gone in the second term. It's down. It's in the air. Knocked out by Cloak. Went to no one. Rendell thumped it, but it went straight to Nash of Richmond. A high ball in towards centre half forward. Thumped away by Wielden. Hand passing by Bunn looking for Stevens. Bunn and uh, Wind on top of the pack. But the umpire is going to bounce. So it's umpire Chris Mitchell. The ball at true centre half forward for Fitzroy. Trying to make uh, their way get down. It's at centre half back for Fitzroy, I should say. Knocked out by Gale at centre half forward for Richmond. Picked up by Rendell. He kicks it out and it spills into the open spaces. Here comes Powell. He can't control the football. Picks it up and hand passes it to Lees. Lees in turn got it back to Powell. A high ball. Pinched there by Dundas, but it came out to Richmond's Bannock on the left boot. In towards the centre of the ground. Looking for and nearly finding Ryan. Play on said the umpire. Umpire stacks on the mill and umpire Mitchell will bounce. Here's Graham Bond on 3AW, 15 minutes gone. Well, Stevens already had seven possessions this quarter, four hand passes, but uh, not all of them being very effective. Richmond by 12 points, the ball being bounced in the middle of the ground. Uh, high there was Gale over the top of Rendell. It went to the ground. Nobody able to pick it up. A cluster of players. McCormick used his strength to get through. A hand pass came out and it's gathered in by Nace. Nace onto the right foot has kicked at the half forward line, travelling the city side of the ground. Bounces awkwardly for all concerned. Finally it went to Windu. Hand pass to Stevens. Stevens further upfield to Dundas. That player takes the mark at centre wing city side. Upfield it goes. Further upfield. Tiger defence combined. Justin Pickering to spoil the Fitzroy attack and knock it over the line. Uh, from where the boundary umpire will spin it back into play. At centre wing on the city side of the ground, 12 points of difference, 16 minutes into the second quarter. The umpire propelling it back into play now. Rendell in there, him so too as Cloak, and Cloak won that one decisively. Got it down to Powell. Powell onto the right boot, kicked it up towards a half forward line. High was Gale up there and others, and the ball, the mark has been taken over there on the city side of the ground by Gale. At uh, half forward flank, he's kicked to a lead up field. Hogg coming up, spoiled by Lynch. Osborne is in there for the action too. It spills out. Nobody able to take it away until eventually it came out back to Hogg and he's put it through for another goal. That's his third. A lovely goal it was and good play, Richmond. Nice 
has played very well this quarter. He had a hand in that. And it's Richmond 8-4, more accurate than Fitzroy 4-10, and enjoying a lead of 18 points. Sam Newman at the MCG. Melbourne at 10-5-65, North at 9-3-57. And Gary Bryce at VFL Park. Footscray 9-3-57 to Hawthorne 6-2-38. John Murphy at Victoria Park. Brisbane 9-4-58, 21 point leaders over Collingwood 5-7-37. Well it's 17 minutes into the quarter here and the bounce is effected in the middle of the ground and Clark getting on top of the big fella Rendell now knocked it away, went upfield, a chance for Fitzroy, they booted it back upfield but the mark is taken there by McQueen. The kick by Torella kicking upfield, McQueen's got it now over towards the half forward line and taking the mark there is uh, Whiteman. Whiteman's mark between centre wing and half forward flag city side of the ground and kicking to the Ligon Street end. Fitzroy 4-10, trailing Richmond 8-4 on the CRW Makita BBC scoreboard. The ball loose in the back pocket area now, picked up by Wind. They're getting past a tackle and only just he bounces his way away, coming out of the back pocket and directing the traffic up towards centre wing position, but it'll be a mark over there to Knights of Richmond. <laughs> and long across to Osborne stretching over there on that city side of the ground but it's too long it'll be out of bounds to be thrown in uh, on the half forward flank for Richmond who are playing much better much better football now 8-4 to 4-10 as we hit the 18 minute mark of the second quarter at Princess Park the boundary umpire now spinning into, back into play in the front berth Rendell Rendell won it decisively went down towards Cormac he couldn't gather it in but Whiteman did and he threads his way through in spectacular fashion in typical fashion kicks high up towards full forward and Stroop at the last moment manages to whack it through for a point. So Richmond on 8 5 a 19 point advantage over uh, Fitzroy's 4 10 at 18 and a half minutes into the quarter. Okay, Sam Newman, your score? Melbourne are leading. They're 10 5 65. They lead by seven points over North Melbourne, 9 4 58. Lynch kicks it out. He'll be looking further afield there for Elliott, but it was picked up further afield for Richmond by Campbell. Hand passes in towards Ryan on the left boot. An ugly looking kick in towards Gale. Double bang and Gale has marked he's yet to kick a goal Gale of Richmond but he's got every opportunity now with the breeze at his back and it was excellent play by Campbell number 46 of Richmond and Justin Pickering joins Hogg in clapping that youngster well Gale will come in and kick from 30 meters out 45 degree angle and he's kicked a point so Richmond are 8 6 54, Fitzroy 4 10 34, bad miss there. Makita, BBC scoreboard on 3 AW, Ron. Yeah, three steps. Actually, Richmond are getting on top both in the small man department with Knights and Nash and Lambert, Wake and those players. They're doing well there, but they're also doing very well uh, in the aerial duels too. Uh, too strong in that department right now with Gale and Goodwin in particular doing well. Richmond lead by 20 points. Lynch kicks it out and finds Stevenson of Fitzroy who hunches himself in front of Keys and takes the mark. Stevenson runs around and has got a lead from Struper who marks in front of Cloak. Struper draws Cloak then over the top to Bun. Bun will bounce on centre wing. He'll run around now. He'll need some support. It comes from Struper. Struper runs outside the emblem and has got a lead from Ruse, but coming in and taking a good mark there for Richmond. Play on, said the umpire. Well, I thought Powell had the mark. Campbell hand passes further afield. Got it to McQueen in turn to Cloak. Over the top to Lambert. Here come the Tigers. Here comes Hogg. A worm burner. Double bounce. It goes in towards Burke of Fitzroy. Buns under enormous pressure. Picks it up Blakey. Hand passing out towards Struper who'll bounce. This will take the pressure off Fitzroy as he Kicked it straight to Whiteman. And Whiteman takes the mark in the centre of the ground, about to play on quickly. He does and drives it down to Nash, making position over there on the half-forward line on the city side of the ground. It bounces beautifully for Nash, and he steadies, kicks it up towards the full forward spot where it's a point. One point only uh, in hot pursuit there was Ryan of Richmond, but it was beyond him. And the Richmond going to 8 7 55, leading Fitzroy 4 10 34. A difference of 21 points at the 20 minute mark of the quarter. The ball about to be kicked back into play, probably by Lee. 8-7 or 4 10 as the guy in the public address system works overtime yet again. Now he drives the ball in, drops it in short, and Burke takes the mark between the back pocket and the half-back flank. On the city side of the ground, he pumps a hand pass further afield, and Fitzroy get out of trouble, booting it long over towards centre wing position, only to see it held up by Michael Pickering. A hand pass to McQueen. McQueen kicks it on the left foot up towards centre half forward. It bounces towards Hogg. Hogg had it for a moment, then he regathered it in, picks it in towards the goal front, marked by Justin Pickering, who saunters in. 
and kick to goal. Well now Fitzroy have grabbed the Fitzroy have lost the run of the ball here. Richmond have grabbed this game by the throat and they're 9 7 to 4 10 on the third W Makita scoreboard, Ron. Yes, no question of that, including the last goal in the first quarter, Richmond have kicked the, the previous seven goals, so they've got the game uh, by the throat at the moment. It was a lovely kick to pick and then uh, centred uh, uh, had two players to choose and they both, they could have raffled that. It was just a very good play by Richmond at the moment. Doing all, doing all three things, they're doing them right. 27 point lead to the Tigers, knocked out by Rendell from that bounce. It went down towards Knights. Knights' kick spilled the left half forward with the lead of Ryan. Ryan out in front of Blakey, who's tackled and must take the free kick, Blakey. And that should be 50, 50 metres. Yes, it is. You can't do that, young Campbell. And umpire Chris Mitchell will step out 50 metres. Let's go to Sam Newman at the MCG. Melbourne are leading by 19 points. They're 12 5 77, North and 9 4 58. It's work, Gary Bryce at VFL Park. Puts Grey lead by 20 points. They're 10 4 64, Hawthorne a 7 2 44. So Blakey's got a lead, this time from Wilden, and he goes back, John Murphy. Bears by 13 points, 9 4 58 to Collingwood, 6 9 45. Blakey puts it in the air. The big thumb came from Turner, and the ball turns end over fist and goes over the boundary line and out of bounds. Right forward pocket, Sydney Road End. In the shadows, the boundary umpire picks it up. He'll now chuck it back into the arena, and here it comes. Right over the back there goes Cloak. Couldn't get it down. Came out to Goodwin. Goodwin comes through and kicks it out to the centre wing position. Thumped away by Blakey. On the spill there, Rendell picks it up and hand pass in the direction of McCormick. Didn't get halfway to him. Picked up by Matthew Knights. Got a lead from Gale. Ruse will have to go. Stevens is off the ground. Blakey now picks it up and passes to Elliot. Elliot in turn got it across to Bun who will bounce. Bun will now drive this football 40 metres straight to Cloak but Cloak can't take the mark. Over the top Wielden. He couldn't get it either. Kicked off the ground there by Harding and Fitzroy but Waitman will bring it out. Waitman on 50 metres defensive zone has kicked it towards Ryan who collides with his player Nash. Off the pack comes Burke who kicks it into Wielden. But play on said the umpire decision, Wheeldon comes around but he kicked it straight to Cloakie. Cloak lurking back in the goal square there, he pumps the hand pass across and the, the Richmond will go away, uh, travelling the uh, city side of the ground, the ball's kicked up towards centre wing, knocked down, well, no I was going to say knocked down but it's a mark uh, to the little fellow in Whiteman playing inspirational football, he hand passes to Lambert Lambert coming through the centre, left foot kick over towards centre half forward, at the back was Bun, knocked away, Ruse tapped it a bit further and Elliot got it, Elliot a hand pass out to McCormick onto the left foot spears it out to Rendell, marking on centre wing a hand pass back to Burke coming up they haven't gained much now they have got it to win wind at centre half forward forced to kick hurriedly cloak in the front berth there takes the mark holds up the attack ready to go and onto the left foot he goes kicking it uh, high but going to come across was wind dropped the easiest of marks intercepted by Powell wind picked it up lost the run of the ball went to the ground and play on as a call and rightly so and Lambert picked it up as a bounce as he goes away somebody hurting but uh, Powell uh, they did the right thing there and it's picked up by Lambert Lambert uh, spears the ball into Ryan and Ryan marks at centre wing for Richmond on the city side of the ground. Wheeling onto the left foot and booting it up towards the lead up the field. Uh, coming at the back of the pack was Hogg, who uh, very smartly gave it across. And there's going to be another goal to Richmond from the boot of keys, I think. No, it's one point only. One point only, and Fitzroy had only themselves to blame there. They fiddled and round a, a little bit too much. They are now 4-11, I thought it was. But it's 4-10 on the board. 4-10-34. That's right, so it is, and it's 9 8 62. Of course it is, it's Richmond scoring. The ball coming back into play now, and Ruse. Ruse kicks it wide over to Rendell. Rendell takes the mark on the city side of the ground at half back flank territory, driving it further afield. Looking up there for a lead, knocked it away. Went down to McCormick. He hand passed on uh, very quickly. A chance for Fitzroy to work it across. It's a poor kick in towards the centre of the ground, bouncing awkwardly for wind. Coming down as Cloak, knocked away from him. Burke coming up, picked it up skillfully, running through the centre half forward position, kicking up towards full forward. Wheeldon was held and uh, retarded and everything else you could think but uh, he used his body to perfection put the arms out uh, stretched out and took the mark so uh, Wielden has the opportunity to kick a much needed goal for Fitzroy at 25 and a half minutes into the second quarter not much left before half time quite obviously and it's 62 to 34 with the Tigers leading on the Fred W Makita scoreboard Wielden now 25 metres out will call it plumb in front puts it on its way and I 
don't know that he's done as what he would like to do. It's one point only, and that's a bad miss to take them on to 4-11, Fitzroy. 4-11, trailing Richmond, 9-8 on the 3 W Makita scoreboard. Who's leading at the MCG, Sam? Melbourne. Gary Bryce at VFL Park. Footscray lead by 14 points. They're 10 <laughs> 464 Hawthorne are 8 2 50. Yeah, one to you, Sam, and here comes Turner for Fritchman. Picks it outside 50. Looking for the big fellow. Goodwin thumped away by Rendell. And comes down to Burke, but he allows uh, Stevens to go in there, who's collected it was Lyon. Came out to Lambert of Richmond. Hand passes to Goodwin, who roosts this ball 55 metres. Ruse goes up. Nilly takes a mark. Stacks on the mill. And umpire Chris Mitchell is going to penalise Richmond there. Powell has really got the dose. Justin Pickering having a go there as well, but the free kick's going to go to Ruse. So Ruse will hand pass it further afield to Bunn. Bunn will bounce once. Bunn will bounce twice. He bounces three times and runs towards 50 and transfers play down there towards Bizzotto, but oh, he's kicked it straight to Knights. Knights of Richmond has got the kick. A low trajectory kick in there to the lead of uh, Pickering, Michael. Michael takes the mark and kicks it down towards no one at home. Keys has got to go. Bounces off the chest of Hogg. Hop taps it on looking for Keys and Blakey concedes behind. 9-9-63, Richmond, Fitzroy, 4-11-35, Richmond doing all the attacking, John Murphy, Victoria Park. Brisbane, 10-5-65, have a 19-point lead over Collingwood, 6-10-46. Lynch has got a short to the bun, and bun takes the mark. The second best and fairest for Fitzroy last week, kicks it outside 50. Last season, I should say, Knights pushes in the back. And the free kick is taken by Strooper. Centre wing on the member side of the ground. You better rev those magpies up, Murph, otherwise I'll be striding up Collins Street. Strooper now kicking the ball long up towards the half forward line, coming around the member side of the ground, but Cloak leans over effectively and knocks it over the line. Sam Newman at the MCG, your score, please. Thank you very much. Melbourne by three goals. They're 13 583 north at 10 565. Ball being uh, thrown back at a play by the boundary umpire. Cloak won it again, knocked it out to where McCormick had it and then lost it. Tried to uh, take it away too easily I felt but he was uh, pressured Lyon then to fiddle it out to Burke and Burke who's had a number of kicks kicks it high up towards the centre half forward spot where it's bouncing near Bannock Bannock it's knocked down a chance here for Richmond to go away if they're quick enough and they're not at the present moment eventually picked up uh, by Lees it might have been kicking it up there up towards the half forward line and a good mark taken by Blakey at full stretch on the half back flank on the city side of the ground he wrenches himself free from a tackle hand passes to Rendell likewise that player to Ruse Ruse up to towards the centre half forward spot uh, over to Osborne who's in trouble but he hand passes back to Ruse and Ruse a flying shot for goal there's nowhere near it it's going to drop short It'll be knocked over towards the boundary line on the uh, member side of the ground spinning loose now a chance there for Bunn knocked away from that player several players combined to get out Bannock a hand pass to uh, uh, two Knights and Knights nearly best on the ground goes across and kicks at the centre wing or to the centre of the ground the mark is taken by Ryan flew at Richmond now Ryan has kicked it a, a lead upfield over there is Keyes knocked away down to the ground it goes a chance for Fitzroy through Strooper Strooper stretching to try and get the away hand passes away and a pro Richmond crowd on the city side are out of what we used to call the outer wanted ball but it's out of bounds to be thrown in and let's go to Gary Bryce at VFL Park half time here a 20 point lead to Footscray 11 470 to Hawthorne 8 250 ball thrown in on the city side of the ground and wrestling there was Ryan nobody got the ruck word nobody uh, achieved anything much there but Ryan came in later but the umpire's blown a whistle and he's picked out a free kick here for Wind in the back pocket or a half back flank area on the city side of the ground the ball returned to him with a score 9 9 63 to 4 11 35 the Tigers leading the kick up field is marked by Rendell on centre wing position on that city side of the ground he had a bit in it as well. Dundas picks it up and gets it to McCormick of Fitzroy. He runs around Cloak. A low trajectory kick will be marked down there or should have been by Turner. He muffed that, went to Powell of Richmond. Powell got it to Lees and Lees of Richmond kicks it out to the halfback flank where Goodwin allows Pickering to take it over the boundary line and out of bounds. Bannock, I should say, not Goodwin. So Mike Pickering allowing the ball to go over the boundary line and out of bounds. 60 metres around from the Fitzroy goal. Ball back into play in the first minute of play. Knocked out there by Cloak. Went down further afield to Dundas. Hand passes to McCormick. A screw punt in towards the area of Wilden has taken a pearler. That was a class mark, Ron. Yes, we've seen him take a lot of marks, that uh, kid, and we always commented last year when we saw him do those things about his base and haircut. Uh, 
but whether his haircut's uh, long or short or brindle or blonde or whatever he is, a very good aerial man and uh, has good skills up yeah. there. Had the skinhead last year, but it's grown back. That's one thing that mine won't do, but here's Wilden. He lines it up 35 metres out, very close to the man on the mark, and he's kicked it behind. He should drill those. 5-12-42 Fitzroy, Richmond 9-9-63. A minute and a half in on the 3RW Synovus Vitamin scoreboard. So, uh, Turner it is for Richmond. He's defending at the Ligon Street end. He kicks it outside 50. Looking for Cloak, finding that player off the top of the pack. Hand pass came out from Ryan to Lambert. Here come Richmond through McQueen. Accepts it and bounces a worm burner in towards Hogg. Through that player. Bundles uh, pick up the sweep and pick it and kick it outside 50. Looking further afield for Elliott. And Elliott of Fitzroy is marked. He's got wind if he wants him. Well, he hasn't got wind, but he's got wind. Wind will and take the mark and run outside 50. He kicks it 50 metres down to the 50 metre line. Looking further afield for Joe Cormack. Over the top, Andy Goodwin. It was pinched down there. It comes out towards Ruse. He bumps his opponent out of the way. He runs around on the sixpence and has kicked it behind. Fitzroy 5-13-43, Richmond 9-9-63, two minutes in, Synovus Vitamin scoreboard. Uh, this is 3RW football, let's go to Sam Newman at the MCG. Well, we haven't started play yet, so Melbourne are 15-7-97, they lead by 19 points, North Melbourne 12-6-78. Ball back into the hands of Turner of Richmond. Turner's got the ball, Fitzroy a bit indirect, have been since about quarter time in my opinion, Turner has kicked it back towards the centre of the ground, high there, several players, one of us O'Connell went down to McCormick, McCormick hand pass, intercepted by Cloak, and Cloak kicks towards centre-half forward, spoiling effectively of Stevens, bounces off the chest of Stevenson, knocked out to Der Michael Pickering, a hand pass out to Lambert, Lambert in the centre of the ground, generating the game now, hand pass into McQueen, who lets fly from about 35 metres out, and kicks it offline for one point. One point to take the Tigers onto 9-10-64, leading Fitzroy 5-13-43 on the 3RW Synovus Vitamin scoreboard. The ball about to be kicked back into play now by Lynch, moving up towards the line, coming up from the Sydney Road end, hesitates, retreats now, and eventually comes up to kick it. I think I heard something go thud in the score box then, a knock to the ground and marked to Gale. Gale takes the mark at centre-half forward for Essendon, uh, for Essendon for Richmond. Richmond <laughs> driving the ball in towards Whiteman, left unattended, and Whiteman takes the mark in the pit of the stomach, about 45 metres out from goal. Lambert runs into uh, a sure Whiteman, he should have a shot for goal. Whiteman puts the ball down on the ground, looks up towards the goals at the Sydney Road end. It's 9-10 to 5-13 on the 3RW scoreboard. And Whiteman coming across the 50-metre line now, fires for goal. The ball travelling on, but it's going to be offline for one point at the best. No, it's out of bounds on the full. It hit the behind post on the full, and out of bounds it goes, and the free kick will go to Fitzroy and be taken up there by Lynch or Stevens. Lynch is probably retreating into the shadow now, and it'll be Rendell, the bigger fellow. Rendell now coming out of the shadows now and driving the ball down up towards, or so up towards the centre of the ground. They fly high there. It was knocked away by Goodwin. Goodwin enjoying a fairly good game. It's out at there on the half forward flank uh, on the outer side of the ground or city side of the ground. Stevens had it for a moment, but once again it's uh, been pushed over the line to be thrown in. On the 50 metre line with a scoreboard 9 10 to 5 13, favouring Richmond on the 3RW Sonoba scoreboard. Boundary umpire now whistling it back into play. Rendell in the front berth there. Uh, he and Cloak had a swipe. It went down in the direction of Lambert, who was tackled on the way through. Play on was the call. The ball spins out. Wind gets it under control. Kicks in towards the centre of the ground where it's a two-out duel. Stevenson Fitzroy recovers quicker than his opponent Nichols it was. Knocked to the ground but it's going to be McQueen tidying up for Richmond. McQueen drives the ball in towards the forward pocket. Bounced away from Lees down to Lyon. Lyon hand passes quickly to Osborne wriggling away and Osborne kicks from the centre half back position over towards the centre wing position. Oh, over there is Knights to take a good mark. Knights on centre wing on the city side of the ground kicks the ball in towards uh, Cloak. Cloak coming through the centre of the ground playing well as, as he has done this year. Up towards uh, Whiteman and Whiteman's taken the mark. Well, Richmond have got winners all over the place and Fitzroy failing to combat them at the moment and the ball by White. Whiteman's kicked the ball into Michael Pickering who positioned himself in the forward pocket on the member's side at the Sydney Road end and he will take a kick from about 35 metres out on an angle of probably 45 to 50 degrees. 9-10 to 5-13. Fitzroy have got to kick about six goals to one this quarter to give themselves any chance and it's going to be difficult because here's Pickering, Michael Pickering lining them up for Richmond 35 metres out, the angle we've spoken about trotting in now and putting it on its way and it's a close one, it might be through for a goal yes it is, just got in and that was all 
but it's a goal to Richmond, taking them on to 10-10-70. That's a commanding lead over Fitzroy, 5-13-43. Yes, they look, uh, they look gone, Fitzroy, at this stage, Ron. Yes, uh, I mean, about six minutes of this quarter with the win have gone. They've, they've kicked two points. They've actually lost four for the quarter, four points for the quarter, because of that goal by Michael Pickering. Then. So that's, they're now 26 points down, 27 points down. So it's looking very, very grim because they had to open up with this wind and start scoring quick goals. Umpire Shane Harris has got the ball. Six minutes gone in the third term. The ball sits nicely for Cloak, who thumps it out to Knights. Knight's hand passes to Goodwin of uh, Richmond. He kicks it down towards centre half forward and Gale takes the mark in front of Stevens. Here comes the lead from Hogg. The ball won't carry to him. It'll be a half volley job. Lynch being held. Play on, said the umpire. The umpire looking at things now as you could throw a blanket over 20 players and the ball comes out to Elliott. Elliott of Fitzroy kicks it further afield to Bizzotto. Bizzotto does the old feign trick and hand passes to McCormack. McCormack, a left-handed hand pass across to Wind. Back in towards Bizzotto. Bizzotto accepts the hand pass and kicks it on the left boot. Two players down behind play. Over the top, Ruse will hand pass to Wheel and he'll pick it up and kick a goal, but he didn't even bother to pick it up. It was in the air. And Wilden has stumped it through. Bill's got the glasses on those two players. Yes, well, uh, Burke was one went down. And Richmond player, the offending party there, as I saw it, uh, was down by a Fitzroy player after the incident. And all players being spoken to by the runners now. Fitzroy 6-13-49, Richmond 10-10-70, Sonova's Spiderman scoreboard, Sam Newman at the MCG. Melbourne by 26 points, 16-8-104, North 12-6-78. Gary Bryce at the uh, VFL Park. Footscray lead by 21 points, they're 12-6-78, Hawthorne a 9-3-57. John Murphy, Victoria Park. Brisbane by 34 points, 13-7-85 to Collingwood, 6-15-51. Ball back in the centre, umpire Shane Harris. About to bounce the ball at uh, eight minutes into the quarter and down it goes, a vital quarter and knocked away by Cloak up towards uh, Lambert, Lambert picked it up and fossicked it out of the back kicked it uh, quickly up towards centre half forward, but coming across will be Stevenson to take the mark for Fitzroy, he got onto his left foot pretty quickly, kicks it over towards centre wing position and a pretty good mark taken there by Michael Pickering, had to show a judgement and also a fair amount of courage too he's taken the mark, the spoiler, there's, there's a, he's pinched at this kid He's pinched at McQueen, and he pinched it from his opponent, from his teammate, and McQueen's got the mark on the half-forward line on the member's side. He's driven it up towards the Sydney Road end, players mass there at centre half-forward, nobody touched it until Stevens knocked it away, to and fro it goes, picked up very quickly, and a hook back upfield by Michael Pickering, it may have been, out of there, out of that back, but it's a point only. And Richmond on 10 11 to 6 13 on the throw out of and over Vitamin scoreboard. The ball kicked back into play by Lynch. He's chipped it in short. Over to Wynn. Uh, it's a Lion. Lion taking the mark in the forward pocket or back pocket. Kicking it towards the centre of the ground. They mass there. Knocked away. A chance for Fitzroy through Bizzotto. He wasn't capable of getting it away, nor was Elliot until finally it's Goodwin getting it out. Kicking it up towards the centre half forward. Spot a chance here. Paul Lambert coming across the path of McCormick. McCormick comes back and picks it up beautifully. Runs through a pack. Kicks it wide. Over towards Wind at centre. We position, taking the mark, being called on by Osborne, he's had a couple of bounces, he may have three, hand pass to Osborne, Osborne now has got to kick hurriedly because of the looping hand pass, and Osborne has kicked a goal I didn't think he had the time to steady, but he did, and he's kicked a very nice goal, and that was pretty good football run Yes, a uh, classy kick by Osborne, I've just been watching him for the past uh, few minutes, not all the time just trying to figure out where he's playing, he's been down in the defensive area he did start on a wing for the first, all the first half against uh, Michael Pickering. He's not there now. I don't know where he's playing. I just think uh, before we bounce the ball, Bill, that we acknowledge tremendous play by McCormick again. Got it out of the centre and started it off, and he's playing well. No doubt about that. It's 10-11 to 7-13. It's 71 to 55 on the 3 W scoreboard with uh, Richmond leading by that margin of 16 points at the bounce. Rendell got it down to Bunn. Bunn was besieged by players. Cloak pinched it off him. Went to and fro. It came out to McQueen. McQueen kicks it in towards the forward line. Coming up there, several Richmond players trying to get under control. Notably Nichols, a hand pass out to Knights. Knights 30 metres out, plumb in front. Hooks it back with the left foot, but he didn't hook it back far enough. And it's through for one point. So that takes Richmond on to 10-12. 10-12-72, leading Fitzroy 7-13-55 on the 3 and over scoreboard. Well, the ball's going up and, up and up and down the ground at a pretty uh, quick pace. The ball about to be kicked in now. Looking for Elliot, and Elliot's taken the mark short of centre-half back uh, for Fitzroy. Looking for somebody to get the ball to. He heard the call from Wind, and Wind's got it. Racing across to kick it to centre wing, across on the member side of the ground, an attempted mark there by Bizzotto.
Sato uh, was not taken and the ball's gone over the line. Ricocheted from his knee over the line, uh, out of bounds, but not on the full. The ball about to be thrown back into play. The boundary umpire has it now at 10 minutes, 11 minutes into the quarter and back it comes, whistling in. There's Randell. Randell knocked it down across to the half-back line where Burke picked it up, drives it in towards the centre of the ground. A chance here for O'Connell. He'll have to be quick and he's pacing it out now. It'll bounce nicely for him and bounced awkwardly for him. It allowed Richmond to come in uh, through their player in Campbell. A hand pass out and he does it again and Goodwin uh, trying to get it round the outer side of the ground. City side of the ground. Lambert in the front berth there. Out maneuvered and outsmarted his opponent. Hand passes to Waitman coming in on the half-forward line in towards the goal square. It goes. It looked like a Richmond mark to me up there. Might be Ryan taking the mark in the goal square uh, for Richmond. Uh, is it Keys again? And Keys comes up with it and will no doubt kick a goal because he's plumb in front kicking to the Sydney Road end and through it goes for his third goal and that was one that Fitzroy didn't want to allow. It's now 11-12 to Fitzroy 7-13. For Sonovus Vitamins around the ground, Sam Newman at the MCG. Well, North are gone. Melbourne lead by 33 points, 17, 9, 111. North, 12, 6, 78. Gary Bryce at the VFL Park. Only two points of difference now. Footscray lead by two points, 12, 6, 78. To Hawthorne, 12, 4, 76. John Murphy at Victoria Park. Better start undoing your belt, Bill, because the Bears lead by 29 points, 13, 8, 86. To Collingwood, 7, 15, 57. McCormick stats, Graham Bond. Well, McCormick, 16 kicks, five hand passes. Two marks, one got one. Umpire Mitchell puts comes out towards not solar plexus of Bond who kicked it down a forward line. They need support and Lee Scott it to Turner. Turner of Richmond kicks a worm burner which will go over the boundary line and out of bounds. Just forward of the 50 meter line as the Tigers defend at the Ligon Street end. So the boundary umpire has this football. Going in for ruck for Richmond will be cloak. From behind will come O'Connell of Fitzroy. Works his way in front. O'Connell got it down. Went through the arms of Dundas. Came down to Lees. Lees of Richmond down towards the half forward line. Over the top of the plaque. The ball spills clear. The crowd, what a free kick to Stevens. But it's not on as Lambert for Richmond. Just tells Jimmy Wind a thing or two. So the ball's out of play. Near enough to centre wing on the member's side. The breeze now gets this football. It comes back into the arena. Rendell dropped it like a hot attack. Came out towards Lambert. Burke's got it. Dispossessed by Mike Pickering. Thumped it on looking for McQueen who shoved it out. It went out to Waitman. He's outside 50. Here comes Sol Keys. Keys has taken the free kick. Keys has taken the free kick. It was there. It was impossible for Lyon to stop his momentum. Got into the back of Keys. And Waitman saw Keyes coming at a million miles an hour. Waitman's down, getting some treatment on his back. Or I hope that's what it is. And Keyes now... Has Waitman uh, been knocked or is his back all right? I don't know. But Keyes now has kicked a behind. Richmond 11, 14, 80. Fitzroy 7, 13, 55. Three out of you, Sinovus, Feynman, scoreboard. He's up. Wait, did you see anything there, Graham? He just uh, lay on the ground let the uh, trainer just give his back a bit of a manipulation, I oh, think. Got a bit of a shock there when he didn't move, but that's what it was as the ball is uh, with Lynch at full back for Fitzroy. Kicks it out looking for Rendell. He should have marked it, but he thumped it. It went to Knights. Hand passing to Cloak. Cloak kicks it into the Bozzotto. Cloak coming through again. It went down towards Justin Pickering. It was McQueen, in fact. Got it to Michael Pickering. He hand passed it to Powell. Powell kicks it over the head of Justin. And Bunn takes the mark for the Roy. On the half-back flank on the member side of the ground, Bunn takes it now and drives it up towards centre wing position. Players mass there. A chance for O'Connell. He wasn't good enough. It went to Knights. Knights spurts away. And Knights on centre wing delivers the ball up towards the half-forward line. Lambert takes the mark, showing a better judgment of the two out of he and Wind. Lambert on the half-forward flank has kicked to a lead-up field. Coming up there is Hogg. It's knocked away by Lynch down to the a base of the pack of coming in fair is Justin Pickering. He ran straight into the arms of Lynch and holding the ball was the call. That will gratify the crowd that call for it and Lynch takes the free kick coming up towards a half-back flank on the member side of the ground and from the Sydney Road end. He's kicked it up to Stevenson running loose up there and he better be quick to knock it further afield which he does and then picks it up. As doesn't have a bounce, gets onto the left foot, drives it across towards the centre half forward spot. Cloak nearly raked in the market, went to ground, a chance for Cormac. Cormac twisting and turning to get out of trouble. Sees the ball pinched by Waitman. Waitman a hand pass out 
and Bannock will come upfield to deliver the ball on the right boot up towards the centre half forwards for Wood. Heavy clash there, players knocking heads and everything else is down to the ground. A chance for McCormick spinning away as Lambert, who's played very well. Lambert spins away through centre half forward, kicks it up towards the half forward line. It's bouncing awkwardly. The ball will come out here after Ryan. It goes. Ryan onto the left foot, kicks in towards Hogg, spoiled effectively by Lynch. Down into the forward pocket or back pocket, call it what you will. It goes and it goes over the line to be thrown in. In the forward pocket for Richmond on the city side of the ground at the Sydney Road end. The score is 11-13 to 7-13. That's four goals of difference in favour of the Tigers as the ball comes whirling back into play. Doing the ruck work there was Gale. Knocked it down for Richmond into a cluster of players there in the forward pocket. And the umpire decides that uh, a bounce is to be the most effective way of getting the game in motion again. It's still in the forward pocket for Richmond on the city side of the ground at the Sydney Road end. Umpire waving players away now and moving in. There's a few little niggly things going on if you watch it closely. The ball now knocked away by Gale doing the ruck work was picked up by Wynn. Wynn kicks it upfield where White nearly raked in a mark. Coming through was Powell. Powell knocked it out in front of him. Down to the ground it goes to give Dundas the opportunity. Picks it up. Gets past the tackle. No he didn't. He was hauled away. It's going out towards Knights. Knights will pick it up just near the boundary line. Eventually he fumbled it and it bounced over to be thrown in between centre wing and half forward flank for Richmond travelling around the city side of the ground. The boundary umpire hurling it back into play at the 16 minute mark of the quarter. Rendell in there, so too was Gale of Richmond. It went to the ground, picked up by Justin Pickering, knocked away from him down to the ground and kicked off the ground up towards Fitzroy's half forward flank. But it's gone over the line to be thrown in yet again. Half forward flank for Fitzroy on the city side as they travel down to the Lygon Street end. They're trailing by four goals on the Throw W Sonovus Vitamin scoreboard. Boundary umpire now positioning himself, getting it back into play, coming in to do the ruck work as Cloak. Cloak won it, knocked it away, but he free kicked, he infringed in doing so. And that would be O'Connell over there that'll get the free kick on the half forward flank for Fitzroy on the city side of the ground. He's looking where? He's looking into the centre and he'll kick it to Matt Randall and Randall takes the mark in the centre practically uncontested because Knights couldn't make an issue of it. Randall marks and passes to Stevenson. Fiddle and faddle they go. Stevenson to Bizzotto. Bizzotto kicking high into where? In the centre half forward. There's nothing there but Richmond players. Goodwin accepts it takes the mark. Kicks it on the left foot wide onto the outer flank. Travelling uh, in front there is Blakey. Blakey leading in the race for the ball. Has got the ball over the line out of bounds and he hit the fence with a hell of a thud but he'll get up. So it's out of bounds, centre wing 17 minutes in, 11.30 to 7.13, Richmond leading. Sam Newman at, VF, at uh, MCG, Melbourne by 35 points, 17-11 113, North 12.678. Back into play knocked out by Gale, it went down further afield to Dundas of Fitzroy, kicked it in towards uh, Cormac Cormac allows uh, the kick off the ground he's kicking it to Wielden and Wielden's marked Gary Bryce at VFL Park. Footscrow lead by eight points there, 13-7-85. Hawthorne at 12-5-77. John Murphy, Victoria Park. Brisbane Bears lead 13-8-86 to Collingwood, 8-16-64. So Wilden has kicked one goal. He stands and delivers from 25 metres out, and it's a goal. So Wilden's kicked two, and Fitzroy have now kicked eight. They're 8-13-61. Richmond are 11, 13, 79, and they get within 18 points. Fitzroy on the Sonovas Vitamin scoreboard. Here's Ron Barassi. Yes, it might be quite a good enough effort so far for the quarter, considering uh, Fitzroy has a win, but a, a very gutsy uh, performance then by Cormac. He had to take in a bit of physical pressure in order to <coughs> stab his foot forward and get the ball across the wheel. He knew what he was doing. It was a terrific, gutsy act. Ball back in the centre with umpire Chris Mitchell. 18 minutes have gone in the third term. O'Connell goes up for Fitzroy, went straight through his fingers. Kicked off the ground by Bunn, tumbles inside 50. Here comes Goodwin. He's mad. He kicks it off the ground. And the ball tumbles over the boundary line and out of bounds. When I say he's mad, he's got an enormous attitude for a backman. And if he was playing cricket, he'd make a good fast bowler because he's got the right attitude. He hates defeat and will never give in as the ball now is thrown back in the boundary. Umpire launches himself and the ball comes back in. Knocked out by Cloak. It comes down towards Jimmy Wynn. Right on his hammer as Knights and he fairly and pinched it. Took a bounce. Runs out towards 50. Takes another bounce. Runs outside 50 and kicks a long ball down towards centre half forward. No one at home for Richmond. Nace cleans up Blakey. The ball spills clear. Over the top of the ball. Pickering. Picked up by Burke and Fitzroy out into the open spaces. There's no one out there except fresh air. The ball turns end over fist. It goes out towards Wheel and who's out in front of Lee and the ball is taken over the boundary line by Willen. It has been determined to be deliberate. Lees takes the kick. Well, I 
work too far away to adjudicate on that. The kick by Lee's upfield is knocked away by uh, the big fellow in Gale and it goes over the line to be thrown in on the half forward flank for Richmond on the city side of the ground. Crowd over there not too happy so one assumes their Fitzroy supporters in their members reserve. The ball coming back into play in the front berth. It was knocked away there uh, by O'Connell. Down to the ground it goes picked up very quickly uh, by Fitzroy and booted up towards, that was Bunn, booting it up towards centre wing. Travelling that city side of the ground that's very close to the line and eventually over the line and out of bounds again. In the beautiful sunshine over there on centre wing position, city side, Fitzroy trailing by three goals at 19 minutes into the third term. It's nip and tuck all the way with these two teams at the moment. Coming in to do the ruck work there was Randall, knocked it to the ground. It's kicked off the ground by two or three players, none of them very effective. Down the ground it goes, and the umpire has blown the whistle. Now he's seen the ball go over towards the boundary line. It comes free, out to Dundas. Dundas now kicking into a lead by Ruse, in towards the centre-half forward spot, and the Fitzroy player... Former captain took the mark, hand passes straight away to Stevenson, who will have to kick a goal to justify all of that, and he has. And that came from a quick hand pass by Ruse, and Fitzroy now 9.13 to 11.13. Two goals down on the third W Sonova scoreboard. Sam Newman at the MCG. Still Melbourne by 35 points, 17-11, 113 north, 12-6-78. Gary Bryce at VFL Park. Footscray lead by nine points. They're 13 8, 86 Hawthorne at 12-5, 77. John Murphy, Victoria Park. <laughs> Brisbane lead by 16 points, 13 8, 86 to Collingwood, 9, 16, 70. I can feel the draft already. The ball about to come at the centre of play. It's uh, Richmond by two goals here, and the ball about to be bounced in the centre at 21 minutes into the third quarter. At the bounce, it's O'Connell and Cloak, and Cloak decisively got the knockout, followed up, tried to have a kick, it was smothered, and the bump pile left to repeat the exercise and bounce the ball in the centre of the ground. 11.30 to 9.30, Fitzroy trailing on the 3RW Sonova's vitamin scoreboard, and the umpire preparing to bounce the ball in the middle of the ground. Looking around, there's plenty of players there, they can have as many as you like in the centre now, that's not a factor. Down on goes in the centre of the ground, over the top was O'Connell, got it down to Wind, Wind's kick travel to meet it, Stevenson had it, got it out to Osborne, Osborne quick, hand passes in the general direction the forward line, it's done to seeing the ball loose, there might have been a free there to Richmond, there is the umpire saw Powell being held back and uh, it might, in the way some of the frees are awarded, it might have been a fortunate one, nevertheless Powell has the free kick, on the half back flank of the city on the member side of the ground, he kicks it up towards centre wing, players massing there knocked away, down to the ground, a chance there for Rendell, Bannock had it on the way through, lost it went out to Justin Pickering, Pickering a hand pass to Knights, ever elusive, running from the half forward flank and he's booted in towards the uh, full forward area, down to the ground it goes a chance here for Elliot. Elliot picks it up and pops it over towards the boundary line on the city side of the ground and the ball's gone over the line to be thrown back into play. On the half forward flank for Richmond on the city side at the Sydney Road end, they, Richmond, are 11.13 to Fitzroy 9.13 and the clock has moved up to 21 minutes into the third quarter. The boundary umpire now positioning himself, now throwing it back into play. O'Connell in there for Richmond and Ryan. O'Connell won it, knocked it down to the ground. A chance there for Fitzroy through Burke. It came loose to Justin Pickery. Throwing the ball, the crowd yelled, but it wasn't. It's got a centre weak position on that city side of the ground nobody able to clear it, players can't get it out of there and the umpires somebody's, somebody's got a free kick, it's Burke and uh, Burke hand passes to McCormick of Fitzroy, he drills it down towards centre half forward, four buys, it went past everybody up towards the full forward spot kicked off the ground, kicked over there by Lees over towards Fitzroy's half forward line on the city side and from there it goes over the line out of bounds to be thrown in Near enough to the 50 metre mark, city side Ligon Street end, Richmond 11.13 to 9.13 Fitzroy, 23 minutes have gone by in the quarter and the umpire propels it back into play, Cloak doing the ruck work, won it, got it down very quickly, picked up by Bannock, Bannock's kick, uh, kick upfield. I think is going to be paid over there on the half forward flank or half back flank for Richmond and the kick is taken very quickly and taken away up towards the centre wing position where coming from behind uh, for Fitzroy was a big fella uh, in uh, O'Connell. O'Connell's got it now, transferring it over towards centre half forward, a chance for Richmond, it bounces loose, Cormac got it, Cormac looking for a handball, decided to go the other way, then he's come back onto the left foot and he's looking for Ruse and Ruse over there eludes his opponent to bounce kindly for Ruse temporally, he's got a break away, he does it, he runs into goal and kicks a goal for Fitzroy, well he broke clear to kick his third goal, his pace got him away from his opponent and now it's only a goal of difference, Richmond 11-13 Fitzroy 10-13. Rob Arassi on 3AW, yes lovely uh, use of his pace there against his opponent, uh, of course we all forget so long ago I guess that Bruce uh, started his career in a meaningful way with Fitzroy on the wing, so naturally he's got natural pace, a good bit of work by Cormac has done, done some very good football today Hi, Chris Mitchell, got the ball. It's 
go to John Murphy at Victoria Park. Brisbane lead by 11 points, 13, 9, 87 to Collingwood, 10, 16, 76. All back in the centre, time on just about to be played. Picked up by Nace, fresh air shot, Burke the same thing, Dito stacks on the mill, Gary Bryce, VFL Park. One point the difference here, Footscray, 13, 8, 86 lead, Hawthorne, 13, 7, 85. Quick score from Sam. 41 points to Melbourne, 19, 11, 125, North, 13, 684. By Shane Harris, puts it down in the centre of the ground, knocked out by Cloak. Here comes Goodwin, tackled, McCormick over the ball, Struper got a quick kick that travelled 10 metres, picked up by Cormack, hand passes to Struper, Struper outside 50, kicks a boomerang in towards goal, Wilden looking for the free kick, but the ball spilled over the boundary line and out of bounds. Is Graham Bond on 3AW taking the stats today? Well, uh, Fitzroy getting the ball out of the centre this quarter, five times to two, and O'Connell into the ruck staying to show some supremacy with six hit-outs this quarter. Shows Fitzroy have booted five with the breeze, Richmond two against it, grabbing the ball, Struper, tackled by Cloak, ball spills to ground, Wilden over the top of the football, Lambert jumps on it, got to get rid of it, umpire Mitchell hugs himself. Let's go back to John Murphy, what's happening in the Victoria Park, Collingwood on the way back. Here's another one out of bounds, that's the sixth... Seventh kick out of bounds for Collingwood, but most of this quarter, and they still trail by 10 points. 13 9 87 the Bears to Collingwood 10 17 77. The ball came out to Bannock, was a good knock on from Lambert. Bannock put it down, runs down towards half uh, the back flank, but he's kicked it straight to the standing O'Connell who waited for it in the herd of Buffaloes. O'Connell now punches the ball back in towards the territory of Ruse. Nearly took the mark. He's come around on the left boot. He's had a shot, but Lees will mark. He's told to play on. Hand passes on the draw to Lambert. Lambert will run twice and bounce. He runs outside 50 on the left boot. He's kicked it towards Pickering. Pickering couldn't take the mark. Over the top of the pack comes Bunn on hands and knees. It's O'Connell hand passing to McCormick. In turn, hand passes to Blakey. Blakey kicks it into the centre of the ground. O'Connell, Struper there as well. The ball spills clear. Coming through Richmond, trying to get it going. It's going to be Campbell. Campbell's out in front of Burke of Fitzroy. Campbell wins it, but Burke takes it. Burke, beautiful play by Fitzroy. Kicks it to right half forward. Open spaces. Here comes Goodwin. Here comes Dundas. Dundas has got the pace. Has he got control? the football, he hasn't, slipping over on the hard turf over there Stevens, hand passing back to Burke a quick kick will find Struper Struper's on his own, the crowd wanting to play on, Lees goes around but Struper bounces, he outside 50, he inside 50 a shocking kick, a worm burner went behind Richmond 11, 13, 79 Fitzroy 10, 14, 74 3LW Sonovas, Vitamin scoreboard, Turner's got the ball for the Tigers. That was a big opportunity for Fitzroy there and Turner about to kick it back into play 27 minutes into the third quarter five points the difference favouring Richmond on the 3W Sonova scoreboard Turner boots the ball over to the city side of the ground it's a nice kick about 50 metres upfield they spoil effectively there everyone spoils it goes to Dundas who slips over at the vital moment but the ball finds its way to McCormick McCormick on the half forward line a good or attempted hand pass nullified McCormick in there after it again it's on the half forward line oh and they umpires by it well, I don't know. He's on the spot, and there's Nace with the free kick. Nace is the free kick. They're holding the ball against Fitzroy Burke. Nace onto the left foot has kicked it up to upfield, up there, over there on that city outer side or center side of the ground. The ball loose on center wing. Blakey had it pumped the hand pass to Dundas. Dundas went to the ground. That's the second time he slipped over. Got to do something about that. It's picked up in towards McCormick. It goes McCormick and McQueen. McCormick has it. McCormick spares the ball. Oh, pass. Oh, it was a beautiful pass there. It's a route to uh, Cormack. Cormack slipped and fell. The ball loose now. Fitzroy battling their hearts out. In fact, they're all battling their hearts out. The ball on the half forward line for Fitzroy between half forward centre wing and it's going to be a bounce. They're a long way away the umpires to give those holding the ball decisions at times. Uh, anyhow, it's going to be bounced between centre wing and half forward flank for Fitzroy, favouring the city side of the ground and down at the uh, Ligon Street end. Five points of difference, 28 minutes played in the third quarter and it's been a tenacious quarter by both teams. Down on the ground, O'Connell getting up high, knocking it away, They're coming in strongly there as uh, Struper kicked off the ground eventually. It's going to be uh, on the ground yet again, fiddling it out, a chance there for Fitzroy. They kick it away through Elliott, in towards the forward pocket. Bannock coming across there and Bannock decides to kick it towards the boundary line. It bounced beautifully for him and he comes away with the ball to boot it long in towards the centre wing position at the back will be Blakey spoiling and he thumps it over the line to be uh, thrown back into play at centre wing on the city side of the ground. 11-13 to 10-14, Richmond leading at 28 and a half minutes played in the third quarter, probably the most evenly contested quarter of the lot. The ball coming back into play now and there's a siren for three-quarter time. 
Well, they've got a battle on their hands, both teams now. Richmond. And we'll start this last quarter with the Dan Murphy Sellers scoreboard showing Richmond five points ahead. An umpire Harris is going to go in and bounce the ball in beautiful sunshine in metropolitan Melbourne this afternoon. And, oh, that was a nasty one to O'Connell who got one across the top of the shoulder from Cloak. And he's taken the free right in the centre of the ground. So Fitzroy are travelling the footy to the Robert Heathley or Sydney Road stand end of the ground. And Osborne calls for the ball 25 metres away and marks in front of Michael Pickering. So Osborne, he's going to run around and kick a high ball. He's got the lead down there of Wielden. And Wielden has come out in front of Lees and taken a magnificent mark. Well, the former player with the dunny brush haircut has kicked two here this afternoon and he stands at 50, hoists up the hosiery. Jimmy Wind uh, says, test the breeze, and he throws the grass into the air and then looks the other way. So he says, well, he'll back his judgment. He'll kick it from 40, 45 degrees, and he's kicked a goal. A magnificent goal. Like an eight iron with a cross breeze coming into the green and the breeze brought it back beautifully. Fitzroy in front by one. 11, 14, 80. Richmond 11, 13, 79. Dan Murphy Sellers scoreboard. They really stir up, Ron. Yes, well, it's a great mark. Uh, and uh, the Fitzroy players, including the captain, have a lot of uh, respect for his mark, do because the ball was put out for a... Uh, only way he could get it was to take a very, very good overhead, which he did, and that's an interesting start for the Roys. Ball back in the centre, a minute and a half in, knocked out by O'Connell of Fitzroy, thumped further by Knights of Richmond, struck by Jimmy Wynn, uh, kicks it inside 50, looking down there for Cormac. The flea picks it up and Waitman kicks it back, but O'Connell... O'Connell has taken the mark for Fitzroy. So O'Connell will run through centre and kick it inside 50. Who's there for Fitzroy? Ruse, not there. Punched away by Turner. On the turf, picked up by Lees. Looking for Waitman, who's grabbed, dispossessed. Good tackle, picked up by Lees. Hand pass out to Michael Pickering. He'll kick it inside 50 with a long kick to Nace. Nace dives on the ball, Burke right on his hammer, coming around Justin Pickering under severe pressure. You'll have to go Stevens, and he does, and the ball turns over and rolls over the chalk. At three minutes into the quarter, and the ball's located on the half-forward line for Richmond on the city side at the Ligon Street end. A point the difference with Fitzroy leading as a boundary umpire hurls it back into play. Coming to do the ruck work there was O'Connell of Fitzroy. He may have just got a palm to it. Over towards the boundary line, it goes to Justin Pickering, but it's over the line to be thrown in yet again from the place it was thrown in just a moment ago. The umpire's playing a penalty here. The Richmond player throwing the ball away and that was Justin Pickering. So Fitzroy come up with a fortunate free kick at the three and a half minute mark in the term. It'll be Bunn working the ball across to Stevens, Crossing the 50 metre line to boot it along around towards the centre wing position. Stevenson there. It was set for the mark but came away. Down the ground it goes. Well over towards the boundary line that spills over on the full. Somebody's booted over on the full. So obviously a Fitzroy player because Lambert's come up with a free kick at centre wing. Outer side or city side. Lambert, a left footer, boots it long in towards the half forward line, struggling for position there and possession, they knock it down it's a chance here for Nace and Nace comes out with a mark Nace on the half forward line, on the city side, kicks it in short to a lead, lead up field, it's going to be intercepted there was a chance and the mark's been paid to Lynch Lynch has the mark in the back pocket in front of the big scoreboard here at Carlton at the Ligon Street end. Lynch looking around for options. He's decided a hand pass to Lyon. Lyon coming up field, flowing on and kicking it wide over towards the city side of the ground. Struber went into the back to three players. It came loose to Powell. Powell dispossessed as he tried to head around that wing position. It's coming out to Goodwin. Goodwin centre wing on the city side. Boots it as far as he can, which is in the direction of the forward pocket of the leader at back. Lynch thrashing and thrashing away. Knocks it to the ground. It's play on as the call as the ball... Uh, forced over towards the boundary line still down there in that forward pocket on the city side at the Ligon Street end and yet again the boundary umpire has to do the work and throw it back into play 11.14 to 11.13 one point the difference in favour of Fitzroy as the clock moves up to the five minute mark in the last quarter at Princess Park spinning, spinning back into play it might have been Gale at the back for Richmond went down, picked up by Bunn and he kicks it wide to centre wing position over there is Powell to take the mark for Richmond on centre wing on the city side of the ground a point the difference five and a half minutes as the needle of the clock moves up and Powell boots 
loops the ball over towards centre half forward players rising high there several players had a chance down to the ground it went again Lambert on top of the pack and the umpire said there's a free kick for Fitzroy and Fitzroy come up with a free kick uh, at the uh, half back position Blakey hand passes to Stephen Stevens in turn works the ball across to McCormick bouncing his way around the outer side of the ground two uh, bounces he boots the ball as far as he can reaches half forward flank over on that city side of the ground spins off the pack Ruse roving the pack crumbing if you like has got it and kicks in towards the centre half forward spot Wheeler knocked away from him up towards centre half forward Fitzroy bustling the ball across their half forward line holding the ball as the call by the crowd the umpire acquiesces and the free kick's going to come up for Richmond I thought maybe fortunate and Lees has got the kick a half back flank on the city side and Lees comes up to boot it long to centre wing position two three players flying there O'Connell at the back knocked down to the ground a chance for Richmond to come out through Knights he bounces his way from centre wing gets over towards the centre of the ground and boots it long in towards full forward won't go that far nearly a mark to Lynch play on was a call it's knocked away out it comes in the direction of Justin Pickering a snap into the pocket he's looking for Hogg and Hogg's mark Hogg has marked in the goal square would surely kick the goal from here Richmond trail by one point Hogg coming in he's kicked three this will be his fourth he's done that four goals to Hogg and Richmond snatched back the lead unless what is happening well yep. he was lining up uh, the player and he played on you can't do that you've got to finish the lining up process and so he's bringing him back for another kick, Billy. Thank you, Ron. Great to have somebody on the rules committee here. It's 11.14 to 11.13 with Fitzroy leading by a point. Only temporarily, though, because Hogg will score something. It'll probably be a goal. Gary Bryce, VFL Park. One goal the difference. Footscray lead by six points. 14-10-94. Hawthorne, 13-10-88. Someone's knocked off the pill. Here's John Murphy at Victoria Park. Collingwood have hit the front. They lead by eight points. 13-17-95 to Brisbane. 13-9-87. That's the fourth. I wonder what the leather brings in the recession. Here's Sam Newman at the MCG. Melbourne by 41 points, 20-12, 132 north, 14-7-91. Seven minutes into the quarter and Hogg's got the uh, the kick for goal, which he puts through, duly puts through, and Richmond go on to 12-13, quickly acknowledged by the scoreboard. 12-13 to Fitzroy, 11-14, seven minutes into the quarter, and Richmond leading on the 3AW Dan Murphy Sellers scoreboard. Here's Ron Barassi on 3AW. Yes, very nice uh, uh, team-oriented uh, kick by Justin... Pickering there, he could have had a ping himself, uh, would have been quite okay, because he wasn't under that much pressure, but he uh, just made it, made it, laid it off very nicely for Hogg to take in what was the end, was a very simple mark. Well, Fitzroy has simply got to score another goal because Richmond might get momentum from that. They're assisted by the breeze, we estimate. And the ball now back in the centre of the ground. And coming in to do the ruck work was Cloak. And he gave it a hefty thump upfield, up towards centre-half forward. A couple of pushes here and there and found his way out to Burke. Burke's had plenty of kicks today. He kicked it to O'Connell, who dropped an easy mark, but pushed it out to Elliot. Elliot pushed it back to O'Connell. They don't know where to go at the moment. O'Connell's hand pass out is destined for wind. Wind's got to uh, pat it away. He's kicked it off the ground. It's going very close to the boundary line. He trot on it, hotly pursued there, Wynn still kicks it further upfield and came out to Strooper, Strooper hand pass to Elliot going through, Elliot pushing and shoving at the ball and Elliot will get a free kick for a push in the back. Elliot, uh, a delicate one that, but uh, nevertheless it's Elliot's free kick on the half forward line he centres it in towards the centre half forward spot and coming out to take a lovely grab as Ruse. Ruse has marked the ball about 45 metres out from goal, uh, the angle is uh, slight it's the breeze he's got to worry about more than the angle and Ruse has got the ball, he's back over the 50 metre line now, Fitzroy trailing by five points, they hit the front when they kicked the goal up from the boot of Wielden Ruse coming in now to put on its way and it looks a fairly well judged kick, it's a goal that's a lovely goal to Ruse, that's his fourth goal, he's been a fine player today as Paul Ruse and Fitzroy grab the lead back, that's 12.40 to 12.13. Tell us about it on paper Graham Bond, well Ruse has taken six marks, he's had 13 kicks, five hand passes and kicked four Four goals, three at the other end of the ground. Hogg, nine kicks, four marks, four goals, two. Ball back in the centre. Let's go to Gary Bryce at VFL Park. Footscray just scored another goal, so they're now 14 points up. They're 15, 12, 102 to Hawthorne, 13, 10, 88. One point the difference. Fitzroy leading, thumped out by O'Connell of Fitzroy. Went down to McCormick, who's been a brilliant player, kicks it inside 50. Lees backs his judgment. A ball down to Whelan. Over the top of his head, he hand passed. The pal comes through and bounces twice, runs to 50 and kicks a low trajectory kick, looking for Ryan. And Ryan takes a juggling two-grab mark. 
on the draw will be Goodwin. Hand passing to that player was Pickering. Hand passes further afield. Michael Pickering found Knights. He runs through a maze of players and puts a high ball. It's a high, long ball that will hog. Hogg couldn't take the mark. Kicked off the ground by Fitzroy Stevens. Across to Osborne. Osborne picks it up. Brilliant shepherding by Wind. Drawing the opposition. Howden pass. Osborne hand passes to Stevens. In turn, he hand passes to O'Connell. Back to Stevens. Dito. A low ball to the lead of Dundas. And cleaned up behind the player as a player. It's being paid downfield to Dundas. And there's going to be a report. And it's going to be McCormick who's been reported for striking a Richmond player. McCormack is in the book, courtesy of Shane Harris. And the player on the ground uh, is requiring... What's that cross sign mean? Is that a stretcher on the ground or what is it? No, it doesn't appear to be his Graham Bond. It's Nate who is down number six. Cleaned up by McCormack who's in the book. So he'll join Osmond. McCormack being a brilliant player. Let's go to John Murphy at Victoria Park. Collingwood lead by two points. 13-17-95 to Brisbane. 14-9-93. And Hawthorne not having it all their own way. Gary Bryce. No, another point to Footscray. So they're now 14 points ahead again. 15-13-103. Hawthorne 13-11-89. So where's the football? It's in the hands there. And it's going to be kicked down further afield by uh, Michael Pickering. Down a half forward. And there's a beautiful mark to Richmond's keys. He was high and has taken a good grab. Hogg leads, but calling for the ball, Ryan says, have a shot. You've got the breeze behind you, and Keyes kicks from 50, and this football's gone on and on and thumped through for a behind. Scores a level, 12-14-86 apiece. John Murphy, Victoria Park. Whoa! Brisbane trial by two points. Collingwood 13-17-95 to Brisbane 49-93 in the deep into the Brisbane Bears forward line. Lynch kicks it back into play, makes it hard work for Burke, but he makes good and he boots it around the member side of the ground. Cloak's got the set here and Cloak has taken the mark at centre wing. Centre wing member side. Cloak circling now. Scores a level here at Prince's Park. We had a tie last week. Could the other one be coming up this week? Cloak has kicked it in towards the forward pocket area and uh, plunging forward to take the mark as Waitman and he's made the forward pocket or a half forward flank is a better description. Waitman now out in a half forward flank on the member side of the ground. Ten marks to Waitman. And Waitman about to kick the ball from about 50, well from 50 metres out. He's not attempting to kick distance, he's kicked in towards centre half forward and he's found his teammate over there uh, in Knights I think it might have been coming in to take the mark. It was at McQueen. McQueen takes the mark at centre half forward for Richmond. So uh, that player now started uh, his work today on the half back line, has a chance to put Richmond ahead, he should kick the distance the ball are with him now and McQueen kicking with the scores 12-14 apiece on the 3 W Dan Murphy seller scoreboard 12 minutes in, 12 and a half minutes in and McQueen taking his time as well he may and as well he should over this very important kick, he crosses the 50 metre line now kicking from about 45 metres out and he's put it on its way and it's a good looking kick for a goal to McQueen and to Richmond and so the Tigers grab the lead back they are now one goal ahead, it's 92 to 86, 3 W Dan Murphy scoreboard. It's checked uh, the water at the MCG, here's Sam Newman. 48 points, Melbourne. 22-13, 145, North, 15 7, 97. Melbourne will win there. Gary Bryce, VFL Park. Footscray lead by eight points. They're 15 13, 103. Hawthorne, 14 11, 95. Plenty of gas in the tank there. John Murphy, Victoria Park. Collingwood lead by two points. 13 17, 95 to Brisbane, 14 9, 93 at the 15 minute mark. 13 and a half minutes gone here, and it's Richmond by a goal over Fitzroy at Princess Park, and down it goes in the middle of the ground as a result of that kick by McQueen. A goal and back it came, it's in the centre it's uh, Pickering taking it away from the centre of the ground kicking it up towards a half forward line, it's loose a chance there, picked up very quickly by Keyes, he snapped for goal, is landing in the forward pocket area, they're taking it a control a hand pass out, a hand pass to Hogg and Hogg's put another goal through for Richmond, two in as many minutes in less than that time, and that's Hogg's fifth goal, it might also be the death knell for Fitzroy, coming up to the halfway mark of the quarter, it's Richmond 14-14 to 12-14 The Dan Murphy Sellers scoreboard is a battle there for them now, Ron. Uh, yes, it's a very handy goal. It gives a clear lead at 12 points at a very crucial time in the match. And the wind uh, is still about three or four goals, so can, it should be Richmond's game here. But uh, Fitzroy are into this game. They're really giving it every shot they can. Lovely hand pass backwards then, and Hogg uh, finish off the work. Uh, good teamwork. The Tigers lead by two straight kicks. Umpire Harris puts the ball down. 14 minutes in, knocked out by O'Connell of Fitzroy. Sharks by Knights who hand passed further afield and got it to Ryan. 
on the left boot down towards the half forward line and uh, the ball came out towards Elliott, Elliott of Fitzroy hand passing to the running Stevenson who's bounced three times on the left boot he kicks a long ball in towards Wielden who's high up there uh, for uh, Richmond was Powell, the ball came down to Ruse he's tackled, hand passes to Stevenson Stevenson kicks in towards Lees and the ball is picked up and taken over the boundary line and out of bounds Gary Bryce, VFL Park. Eight points to lead to Footscray, 15-13, 103, Hawthorne, 14-11-95. John Murphy. Collingwood lead by three points, 13-18-96 to the Brisbane Bears, 49-93. Ball back into play, knocked out by O'Connell, looking for Jimmy Wind over the top there. Lees tries to get it going, stacks on the mill, the ball comes out to Osmond. Osmond a check side and look at it hold up in the breeze. Wielden has got it! Wielden made great pace. Dived on it like a guy taking a high ball in the covers. He did the somersault and he's got the footy. So he's got a chance to bring it back to one straight kick. Wilden, this will be difficult straight into the face of this North Wesley. He's got some cover from the Carlton George Harris stand and he has kicked it behind. Detroit 12 16 88. Richmond 14 14 98. 12-15-87 that should be they're quick on the scoreboard and doing a great job here at Prince's Park Dan Murphy Sellers scoreboard Turner will kick the ball back into play at the 16 minute mark of the last quarter at Prince's Park 11 points the difference in favour of Richmond Turner approaches the line and kicks it wide out towards the city side of the ground but the wind swirled it back and kneeling as if in prayer the mark taken there by Goodwin he hand passes to Whiteman Whiteman shoots it out very smartly out to Michael Pickering marking on the half forward line on the city side and he spears the ball in towards the half side a half forward spot, it's loose now a chance here for Richmond through Ryan he's kicked it high up towards the goal square where wrestling takes place, the play on is the call, Burke picked it up and kicked it hurriedly and quickly towards the boundary line good thinking by Burke, he had no option and he kicked it over there and it's out of bounds to be thrown in, out on the city side of the ground on Richmond's half forward line, the Tigers by 11 points with a score of 14-14 to 12-15 and the boundary umpire now preparing to get it back into play he does, in going in there doing the ruck work it was big fellow Gale, he got it down very quickly to Lambert. Lambert under the left foot and steaming upfield to Stevens to knock it through knock it further afield. Over there it goes to centre half forward, centre half back to Sturge to Lyon. Lyon ran through a pack of players it's gone back to him, uh, back to Bun under the left foot, driving it up towards uh, Ruse and Ruse comes out to take the mark on the half forward flank, tending to get out towards centre wing position. Ruse is marked beautifully today, looking for leads. He got a couple but just know which way to go at the moment he's kicked it into the forward pocket. Coming into the forward pocket there's a mark there, a chance to wield and it's spun away from him down to the ground goes. Wheel and pinches it. Gets onto the left foot. Touched in transit. It's going out towards Wind. Wind had it. Lost it. He's got it again now. It eventually comes out to Justin Pickering. Kicking it wide to Knights and Richmond are away over there in that centre wing position on the city side of the ground. Kicking it wide to Lambert. Lambert out manoeuvring. They're out uh, uh, pacing his uh, opponent Pizzotto. Lambert uh, turns on a, a crookedy bit there. Gets onto his left foot. Kicks into the forward pocket. Hi! And that's Keyes. Oh, he went up there. And he's taken a lovely mark in the forward pocket on the city side of the ground under the shadow to the shadow of the big scoreboard here at Prince's Park. Richmond lead by 11 points. It was a fine mark by Lees. Richmond whipped it around that uh, city side and Lees comes in to take the shot for goal now at 18 minutes into the quarter and he's kicked a goal. That's another one to Richmond. That's his fourth. He's been a good player, Lee Keys, and that takes Richmond on a 15-14-104. Leading Fitzroy 12-15-87. Importantly, it's 18 minutes into the quarter. Gary Bryce at VFL Park. 23-minute mark, a 15-point lead to Footscray. There's 16-14-110. Hawthorne, 14-11-95. John Murphy, Victoria Park. 20-minute mark and Collingwood lead by three points. 13-18-96 to the Bears, 14-9-93. And Richmond certainly looked to have this game. 18 minutes in, umpire Mitchell puts the ball down. O'Connell waits, cloak thumps it out. Went to Blakey, tackled, play on, said the foot, uh, said the umpire. Stevenson kicks it, but it was marked by Goodwin. Goodwin of Richmond transfers play to the outer wing where Knights has taken the mark. Knights been a brilliant player today on this small men led by Waitman have absolutely been marvellous and Knights has got this football on the left boot, kicks it with the breeze down to the half forward line slipping over both Nash and Burke the uh, ball now falls into the hands of Nash who's tackled brilliantly by Burke that was a top class tackle Ron Barassi no question. I think it surprised uh, the Richmond player too. It, 
He just didn't do anything with the kept possession of the ball, which he shouldn't have done. So Burke now kicks it 50 metres down towards the leaping ruse. Couldn't take it off the top of the pack, picked up by Knights again. Knights now puts the boot into the ball, down towards half forward, looking for Gale. Off the top of the back, here comes Burke. Burke now a check side kick, which wasn't intended. The ball spills clear. Coming out there in the race for the ball is Elliot, who takes the football over the boundary line and out of bounds. Sam Newman at the MCG. Melbourne by six goals. 22-13-145. North, 17-7-109. Ball out of play now. Back in play. Knocked out by O'Connell, but it was pinched by Justin Pickinger, who puts the ball into the air. Here comes Keyes. Here comes Lynch. Stumps it forward. Stevenson picks the ball up. Down towards Nace, who taps it on. Stevens in for Kroll there with Lynch. Lynch hand passes, but falling on the football there. Pickering stacks on the mill, forcing his way through is Keyes, but the umpire hugs himself. Well, it's pretty tired finish this one uh, at Princess Park. It's 15-14 to 12-15. Richmond leading and looked like holding the lead at 19 and a half minutes into the last quarter. Umpire bounces the ball on Richmond's half forward line on the members' side. It may have been uh, Gale who got the ball to just a tap. Nothing definite about it. And Lambert's on top of the ball. And the umpire said no, it was held to him. Or words to that effect. And he'll bounce the ball. It's about 40 metres out from goal at the Ligon Street end. It's 15-14 to 12-15. Fitzroy trailing and badly needing to get the ball out of their back line immediately, knocked away, down to the ground it goes for Bun, Bun's kick didn't travel far, went to Blakey, a hand pass to Stevenson on the way through, he got it to Bizzotto, Bizzotto kicks uh, over towards the centre wing position and he kicked it straight to David Cloak sitting back there on the centre wing on the member's side Cloak circles now, scurries away is the best word for him, and kicks it high and Waitman's coming in, Waitman takes the mark he had his name written all over that. Stevenson was a couple of metres behind him, but Waitman read the passage of the flight of the ball beautifully, and the little Richmond captain's got the mark and the kick from 35 metres out directly in front. 21 minutes played, Richmond leading 104 to 87, and here's Waitman putting the ball down on the ground just to tap, steady things up a little bit, get himself balanced, and looks up towards the goals at the Ligon Street end. Dale Waitman, a veteran, a 1980 Premiership uh, player, still around. And he's put Donald way and he's kicked a goal for Richmond, I think. No, he hasn't. It's uh, one point only. One point to Waitman. So Richmond on a 15-15-105. Lead Fitzroy, 12-15-87. Throw W. Dan Murphy, seller scoreboard. Waiting for Lynch to pick the ball up. Gary Bryce at VFL Park. Action stations there. Yes, Dunstall's just kicked his ninth goal. Uh, that main, means that uh, Footscray lead by 10 points. They're 16-15-111. Hawthorne 15-11-101 and it's a 26 minute mark. Thank you for that Lynch kicks it outside 50 looking for and finding Stevens. Wadden paid the mark stacks on the mill. Let's go to John Murphy at Victoria Park 24 minute mark and Collingwood lead by 9 points. 14-18-102 the Bears 14-9-93 as Dacos lines up for goal number 4 Thank you and Mitchell is the umpire. Chris Mitchell has got the ball Half forward flank, left attacking side for Richmond. Knocked out by Gale of Richmond. Comes down towards Lambert. Lambert runs around, cleverly gets the football and hand passes it deliberately out of play. And the umpire wasn't going to give that one at all. So the ball is 55 metres around from the Richmond goal at the Ligon Street end. Richmond look home, 23 minutes gone, and they lead by 18 points. Knocked out by Gale of Richmond. Picked up and kicked forward by McCormick to Cloak. Punched away by O'Connell of, Rich, of uh, Fitzroy. He runs away from Cloak, but excellent play by the Richmond veteran to see the ball go over the boundary line and out of play. Very good defensive play there by Cloak. The ball's out of play, out of bounds on the centre wing position, getting up towards the half forward line for Fitzroy on the member's side, and it comes back into play. And O'Connell might have got the better of the duel, but just went to Blakey. Blakey ridden into the ground by uh, Justin Pickering. Down on the ground it goes. The umpire's got to bounce the ball, and this he'll do on Fitzroy's half forward line on the member's side. Of the Sydney Road end. 15-15 to 12-15. The target for Fitzroy is three goals. I think time's run out for the uh, Roy boys today at 22 minutes past, uh, uh, 20, 22 minutes into the quarter. Umpire now preparing to bounce the ball on the half forward line. Cloak in there. Cloak got the tap. Went down to Stevenson. Onto the left foot quickly. He's kicked in towards the forward line. Running across the path of the ball was Powell, but it's bounced through for one point to Fitzroy. And Fitzroy go on to 12-16. 88. Trailing Richmond 15-15-105 on the 3W Dan Murphy Sellers scoreboard and 22 minutes have been played in the quarter. The ball about to be kicked back into play. Richmond seemed to have it in their grasp now and the ball kicked in short, very short and marked in the forward pocket there by Bannock. Bannock has transferred up to Bannock on the half back line and he takes the mark with Richmond holding up the traffic. Coming around the member side of the ground now, Bannock has 
Bannock had kicked it short, but the umpire is telling him to go back and have another kick and speaking to the Fitzroy player there in Harding. So Bannock has got the ball in front of the George Harris stand. Carlton Social Club stand defending at the Sydney Road end of the ground and the fire has gone out of the belly of the game I think Bannock has kicked it up towards the centre wing position O'Connell tapped it down uh, to Stevenson and he couldn't get the control of the ball it's on centre wing position on the member side kicking it off the ground Richmond flow away and Knights has picked it up has a bounce as he kicks it long into the forward line in towards a full forward spot and nearly a good mark taken by Lyon kicked off the ground by Strooper over towards the boundary line picked up very quickly there by Michael Pickering but the kick is off line it was pretty good kick from the position he was in anyhow and it's one point to see Richmond under 15-16 leading Fitzroy 12-16 3 W Dan Murphy seller scoreboard Gary Bryce at VFL Park Fitzroy lead by 4 points 16-15, 111, Hawthorne 16-11, 107 Time, Royal coming in, running into an open goal, that's it OK, Fitzroy will win you say That's for sure OK, Lynch has kicked it outside 50, thump back in and over the boundary line by Cloak Let's go out to Gary, uh, to John Murphy at Victoria Park. 27-minute mark. Collingwood has the game all won. They are 16 points in front. 15-19-109 to Brisbane Bears. 14-9-93. Ball back into play. Going up in ruck for Richmond as uh, Gale got it down to Waitman. A very quick kick off the side of the boot. Picked up by Bunn. Kicked it back towards McQueen who takes the mark for Richmond. McQueen now can't see Michael Pickering on his own. Pickering was yelling for the ball but here comes the lead from Kerr. Keys and Keys is Mark and will line up for his fifth goal. Sam Newman at the MCG. 61 points. Melbourne 26 14 170. Yeah. North 17 7 109. So the winners today will be Richmond. There's no doubt about that. Melbourne will win. We hear from John Murphy that Collingwood will win and it looks like Footscray will upset and tip Hawthorne out. So Keys lines it up for five and he's got four. So Richmond a 15, 17, 107, Fitzroy a 5th, 12, 16, 88, 25 and a half minutes in the last term, 3RW Dan Murphy Sellers scoreboard. Strooper will kick the ball back into play for Fitzroy at 25 and a half minutes in as you've mentioned, 15, 17 to 12, 16, the result a foregone conclusion and Strooper coming up to the line to boot it back into play for the Lions. He does that and kicks it towards the centre of the ground at the back was Cloak, thumping away Burke who's played pretty well for Fitzroy, relieves it and kicks it wide to centre wing on the uh, city side of the ground. Michael Pickering is there. Uh, gets the ball under control. Hotly pursued or not hotly pursued uh, by uh, Dundas. It went to, Ham uh, to Lambert. Lambert onto the left foot. Kicks it up towards the centre half forward spot where they mass there and Keyes breaks in another fine mark. Well he's done it well this fella. Uh, he's got another mark at uh, centre half forward. He had his kick four. There's a chance to atone for that miss before. It's 15-17 to 12-16. 26 and a half minutes played and Keyes the former Collingwood player lining them up putting it on its way now this one uh, might be a better kick for him that is according to the hordes at the back of the goal it's his fifth goal and a pretty good display and richmond cantering away with it in the finish the kick 16 17 to 12 16. gary bryce at vfl park yes a uh, footscray victory 17 16 118 defeating hawthorne 16 11 107 how 11 many, points how many goals dunstall dunstall nine thank you for that John Murphy, Victoria Park. 29 minute mark and Collingwood lead by 22 points. 16, 19, 115 to Brisbane Bears, 14, 9, 93. Well, the guy selling the footies has got another one. Someone's knocked off the, uh, the ball again. Let's go to Sam Newman at the MCG. 25 minutes in down, knocked out by O'Connell. Went straight to Burke of Fitzroy. He kicked it at right angles and the ball spills very close to the boundary line on centre wing. More towards the left half forward flank for Fitzroy. And it's out of play. Ball back into play. Cloak versus the big fellow in O'Connell. And Cloak got it down. Uh, looking across there for a kick is Osborne on the left boot, but he's kicked it over the boundary line and out of bounds, and the resultant free kick will be taken by Bannock. So Bannock has got this footy. Bannock now telling the umpire the man on the mark's too close. Well, all he's got to think about is the aftermatch entertainment because Richmond are home. They will not lose it from here. He's kicked a 50-metre kick in towards the area of half forward, double-fisted away by O'Connell. Went down to Justin Pickering, and he's taken the ball over the boundary line and out of bounds. John Murphy, Victoria. 
Fitzroy in the back of the play on the city side of the ground. Pack rise. It's down to the ground. A chance for Fitzroy to break. Uh, through Bunn onto the right foot, kicking it up towards centre half forward. Ruse eludes his opponent and takes the mark in front of Turner. Ruse is out uh, on the half forward flank territory on the city side of the ground, looking into the uh, goals at the Sydney Road end. It's a bad kick. It wobbles all over the place. It wobbled to Dundas, who spilled the opportunity to mark. It came out loose. Chance there for him to get away, and they've worked the ball around at Turner. Turner got it eventually from Bannock, and Turner goes around that city side of the ground, kicking it long beyond centre wing where it'll bounce over the line to be thrown back into play. Might be the last act of play because the clock has reached 30 minutes into the quarter and it's 16-17 to 12-16. Richmond leading. That's 113 to 88, which is a 25-point margin between the teams. With the boundary umpire now, out on the half-forward line or half-forward to centre wing area on the city side of the ground, spinning it back into play. It was a gale up there, knocked it over towards the boundary line and it's gone over the line to be thrown in yet again. True centre wing position, city side and the game all over bar the siren going at 16-17 to 12-16. Richmond leading their first win for the year. With the boundary umpire again about to throw it back into the play does this now. Ruckman do battle there. Stevens doing it for Fitzroy. Uh, Gale beat him for it. It was knocked to and fro. Wind punched it up towards the centre wing position. It spills out. Players all over the top of the ball and the umpire is forced to bounce. He'll bounce at centre wing on the city side of the ground. 16-17 to 12-16. Just going through the, the dying moments of the game. It hasn't been too bad. It's 113 to 88 in favour of Richmond on the 3W. Dan Murphy sellers scoreboard. With the umpire now. Central umpire about to put it back and uh, bounce it on centre wing on that city side of the ground. Players lean over each other. It found its way out to Dundas. Dundas kicked up field and Lynch takes the mark out on the half forward line for Fitzroy. Lynch coming in to boot it long in towards the goal square. Ruse has got the set at the back. Took the mark. No play on was a call. Bounced off his chest and it's rushed through eventually for one behind to Fitzroy. One behind taking them on to 12-17. That's four goals away from Richmond. 16-17. 31 minutes played. The ball to be kicked back into play. And it is uh, that just that. It's booted back into play. And Richmond toying with the opposition as they bring it around uh, the member side of the ground. Finally going to be booted upfield by Pickering. Michael Pickering up towards centre wing position. Down to the ground it goes. Knights pounces upon the ball as he's done most of the day. He's got a week to work out what he's going to do. And he decides to give it to a new player in Campbell and Campbell's mark. 45 metres out Campbell. 45 degree angle. Kicking to towards the Ligon Street end. 32 minutes have gone by in the quarter. Four goals the difference. And Campbell about to take his kick from about 45 metres out. 16-17 to 12-17. Richmond leading. Knights generously gave the ball to Campbell to see what the young player could do. And he's kicked it offline. The point at best. And that's, I think, what it's going to be in the finish. No Fitzroy getting a free kick paid and the quarter just won't finish and Lyon has got the free kick. He'll kick between goal and behind post. No, he won't. He'll hand pass to Stevens. Stevens has got to give it back to Lyon and Lyon will do the exercise over again with the timekeeper's hands poised on the button. But there's a little bit of time left yet. 16, 17...